Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Miles Morales. I am Pestilus. Uh, with me on comms, I have the amazing Rebel Dragon. Hello there. Uh, the spectacular Burke Maverick. Hello. And your friendly neighborhood Corvamank. <laughs> I, said, I said friendly neighborhood. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay so... Uh, Welcome to uh, the fun times. We're just going to change a few important settings in here, and we're going to ju jump straight into movie night. If you could uh, mute the game audio for copyright, please. And uh, we'll go on go. So three, two, one, go. So uh, w welcome to Miles Morales. A uh, few housekeeping things. Uh, we're playing on the PS5. That's the quickest version of the game. Any percent. So we have a fresh file. No unlocked. Uh, no unlocked gadgets. Uh, upgrades. Whatever. Press file. Unlocking things as we go. Um, yeah, what? What else are going to say? Um, the uh, bid war. We're going to wear the Spider Verse suit, right, Bree? Indeed, it was overwhelmingly loved at $1,371.70. Yep, so we can't change that until about 20 minutes into the run. Uh, you'll know when it's time to do that, because we're going to be talking about a big old glitch when that happens. But we'll change that as soon as we are able. In the meantime... We'll have to change it again afterwards. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have, have to change about, it a couple of times. In. in the meantime, uh, there's a couple of... Um, have some things to explain. For example, uh, we have to do a menu here before the game even starts. We're going to uh, use the nice accessibility features that Insomniac gives us. Uh, that allows us to customize a couple of things onto the D-pads, the left and right D-pad on the controller. We're going to customize photo mode on the right D-pad. That is for a uh, certain glitch that we'll be getting into later. You, you're good to turn the game audio back on. And we're uh, also customizing a uh, swing kick. Swing kick is just a normal combat ability where you jump, you hold the attack button, and Miles does a kick in the air. He swings and he kicks, thus the name. Uh, we're not going to do it for the attack, though. We're going to be doing a bit of movement tech that we call bunny hopping, because it's akin to what you might think of with bunny hopping in some uh, Source games you've seen the uh, first-person shooter games. Where, uh, for whatever reason, if you do a uh, swing kick, you can jump to cancel the swing kick, and the jump gets you momentum, and then you do a swing kick, and you jump to get more momentum and cancel it, and you do a swing kick, and you jump to get momentum, and uh, you're going to see how that goes you can go pretty very, quickly. Very fast. It, can, yeah. it can go to a little bit of ludicrous speed, assuming uh, we can get it. There is kind of a timing to it, but really, you just kind of mash and hope it works out. <laughs> so, the way... The yeah, way I tend to do it, <laughs> but uh, the but uh, the main reason we're going to be bunny hopping is us uh, swinging. We'll talk a bit more about the mechanics of swinging, kind of as we do them. Um, but we're swinging has a max uh, velocity that your Miles is able to travel at a certain uh, momentum that he's able to maintain throughout. And bunny hopping allows us to just ignore that completely. The main thing is it's real hard to control. We need to be on the ground, which means if we have to go in onto buildings and such, it's not great. And uh, we want to be in a straight line. Here we go. And Whee! as soon as you find a straight line, you can yeah. just kind of go a truck cam body. Either. Yep. Trucks and NPCs yeah. can just stop your momentum completely. No big deal. Uh, yes, unmute the game audio. Yeah, so normally what we used to do here is we used to swing to uh, get to the uh, landmark location, but uh, swinging is definitely slower than breaking the speed cap, essentially. So yep. it's faster to just bunny hop over there and then climb up the building a little bit. It's actually a reference to the Flash. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh yeah, this is just one of uh, Peter's unique superpowers. Uh, the yeah. thing is, or Miles is rather. Yeah, I was Peter say, wait, cannot do this. Peter? Kind of Wrong game. very much not Peter's Wrong power. game. Very much not. Yeah, Peter actually cannot do this because the accessibility feature that allows us to use air launch with a single uh, button press just isn't a thing in Peter's game. So we can't do it. 
So now let's talk about, uh, first we got the mention, easiest difficulty, any percent, there you go. Now we have to talk about the elephant in the room. There are 52 minutes of unskippable cutscenes. Woo! It's very hype. It's very hype. It is very yeah. hype. So uh, <laughs> I hope you got your popcorn. This is going to be a nice, chill movie night as we uh, go and uh, wa watch the whole story of things. And I need subtitles on to do certain tricks so you can see all of the game audio for your lovely viewing pleasure. Like, there's no way to speed any of this up. There's technically a way to speed a couple of them up. We'll get there when we get there. But uh, for the most part, we just have to sit and watch. Believe it or not, it used to be worse. There used to be... Like, they actually patched in more cutscenes we could not skip. When the games launched, there were 48 minutes of unskippable cutscenes. They added four more. Yay! Yeah, yeah so, and, like, because of And the reason we issues. don't... <laughs> The reason we run on the technically slower patch is because down patching with PS5 physical, it's really hard and also the game is really unstable. So as a community, we decided to do in-game time. Our in-game time is just we time the cutscenes and we manually subtract them from RTA and that's your in-game time. Yeah. So that you can play on the more stable patch and not be at a disadvantage uh, for the guys who do not who use a uh, the old patches and uh what the heck game <laughs> what happened there that was a nice texture you had all over everything yeah so i think and in order to make sure that this is a proper movie night and to be respectful to everyone watching for all 52 minutes of cutscenes, will remain perfectly silent so that we don't interrupt <laughs> the cinem the cinematography and it's in its original vision absolutely absolutely <laughs> Uh, no. And if anyone talks in chat, then we'll shush you too because we need to all. Oh, no? Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll okay. just. We'll, I guess we'll just talk over it instead then, if people want to do that instead. Maybe we have a portal run to get to, guys. Where's the That's train? True. When's the train happening, chat? Oh, the train has started, and we could keep it going through this. Through I, I would say through that many cutscenes, I think we could keep it going. Yeah, I think you have plenty of time to keep it going. Because uh, you can get a couple in real quick, because this is a tutorial. Dodging under people, uh, one hits dudes instead of punching them, which takes a full combo. I don't know why. You can get a couple donations in quickly. Fabulous. And as an update, we are at 45,000 out of that 80,000 for the bonus incentive. So keep those coming. I have a $50 donation from Earl Grey T that says, I need pictures of Spider-Man. And thanks for a great show so far. Thank you for your dono. Thank you. Uh, we actually have some interesting tech to talk about here real quick after the uh, tutorial prompts telling us how to do things. Hi. Okay. So, nice photo mode, dude. Very nice photo <laughs> mode. So uh, a lot of things, Miles, you just do not want to behave, do you? A lot of things in this video game are uh, triggered by dialogue, like certain dialogue needs to play for certain triggers to be hit and stuff like that. So we have to wait for certain dialogue to be played, and for some reason, if we go up here, it plays some dialogue from the last mission, and that skips some dialogue in this section, and uh, allows us to just go slightly faster. I think it saves like five or six seconds or something, and then after uh, Miles says, wow, just wow, we can take out one dude and continue the mission, and uh, more donations, you have them. Oh. We have them. I have $10 from Pat that says, come on, everyone. We're under $18,000 from reaching a quarter million dollar total on day two and have a ways to go for the portal airboat percent run. Let's get those donations in during this Miles Morales run and smash both milestones. Uh, hey. We had to get one. There had to be one. <laughs> yeah. And I will accept many, many more. If you have puns, I love reading puns. I yep. also have 10, no, I lost it. Oh, I have $25 from Shadow430 that says, let's start that $5 hype train for the portal bonus game. I'll start with five tickets. Make sure to click the incentive when you donate. So we might as well talk about swinging now. Uh, this first mission, we're just failing Rhino. It's, you have to be really, you have to go like way out of your way to fail this. You're just uh, swinging around. In fact, swinging, uh, the closer to the ground you are, the uh, more momentum you get from it, essentially. It's the fastest form of swinging is just being near to ground, swing, hit X to jump off your swing, low to it. If you jump higher off the swing, you'll get more height and less speed. 
very, very basic uh, momentum physics type of things. Uh, we will only really be swinging for the most part if there's either not a straight line allowing us to bunny hop, or if or if we need height in order to get where we need to go. So you also otherwise, do it uh, in chase either because you don't want to go further away than the no. Chase there's yeah. there's also no reason to uh, do anything other than that. So this bit of uh, like, actual question, Rebel Burke, do you lose time if you hit things? I don't actually... I don't think you do. You, I don't think you do. I think if you lost any time, it would be, like, less than half a second, because he only he staggers a tiny bit. Yeah. I mean, the main point of time save here is the fact that we have auto QTEs turned on, so the game just automatically does every QTE, and it does it faster than yep. a human can do it. All so. of these things <laughs> where the game's sort of slowing down are QTEs. We have an accessibility feature called Auto QTE on. Uh, it just does it, so it's more cutscenes. Is this yeah? Is this counted in the 52 minutes of cutscene time? No, sadly, it is not. Sadly, bonus not because, cutscene! <laughs> sadly not, so there are bonus additional cutscenes. Wow. It's like... Right. It's, it's so Same. nice we added more for you all. Yay! Yep. So here's our okay. JJJ. Everybody enjoy your one JJJ appearance of the run. I'm going to challenge everybody who's taking part in this donation train. I want your best JJJ insults for Spider-Man. The more they end in menace, the better. Keep them PG. I want to hear them. <laughs> we just I think we you can do better than... Uh, <laughs> I think you can me, do better than JJJ did in this cutscene. Give me JJJ doing GLaDOS. Oh. In honor of the portal run. Oh, I also want to mention something very cheeky that happens at, at, at like the end of you breaking out of the JJJ room. Uh, the game starts with Miles facing forward, but you gotta go to the but you gotta go to the left. It's it's like it, we all fell for that on our first playthrough. We yeah. all went forward and all failed instantly. <laughs> we were like, what happened? So it goes. So it goes. So uh, you have. Uh, Sneak in uh, two donations here before we have a fight, please. I can do two donations. I have $200 from Profit that says, bring me go. photos of Spider-Man riding airboats through portals. And I have $100 from Solenoid that says, can't wait to see the no portals portal run. Nice. Now you're so, without portals. Yeah. So now, uh, we're more or less done with the tutorializing bit. Now we get to see kind of the bread and butter of uh, Miles' combat, which is a lot of winging it, is kind of what it comes down to. Uh, we have, because in any percent, we don't have any real tools to take out groups of enemies. What we have is we have our punching, which dodging under people is still the uh, best way to try to take guys out quicker. And we have our webs. Every time a dude is webbed to an object, that is an instant KO. So, uh, and you can see those recharge just on a little cooldown over time. So, and you can see how much these guys like to troll. So uh, it becomes a weird balancing act of, we don't have many resources. We're just kind of going to do what we can over here. Yeah, a, a lot of combat in uh, this I... game, e oh, even on New Game Plus, relies on oh, my your goodness. ability to essentially make up what you're doing while also trying to maintain control as much as possible. So, um, when Pess is dodging around and trying to hit guys, he's also trying to make sure his, like, he can time knocking multiple people over to web them up and to do different things to different things. And also, he's also trying to build up finishes as well. So, finishes in this game work a little bit differently to what they do in the previous game, Spider Man 2018, where they're based on the bar that you build up. In this game, you get finishes based on how much combo you've done. So by building up a longer combo, you get finishes, and then they're basically just like a free instant knock knockout on a um, on a uh, guy. And later on, they build you a, a lot of bar. So we normally just use them to get some free bar and to net us a knockout on a guy. Yeah, it's a, a very weird balancing act of you always want to be attacking because you want more finishers, and attacking will also fill up your venom meter, which we'll get to in a uh, couple seconds here, and. Uh, so you always want to be doing something, but what you want to be doing is uh, not clear a lot of the time, because again, our tools are basically non-existent at we've, this point. We've <laughs> always said this game's uh, about making a bad decision and then committing to that bad decision. <laughs> yep, that is the way to go fast. You gotta commit to the bad choices, and that's just 
Yeah, because That's as soon you as you've it. decided to do something, you just have to keep going with with whatever you've decided to do. Yep. Fun fact, on launch, you could skip this cutscene. You could skip this cutscene on launch, yeah. but, but now we do get to see Miles punch Rhino direct in the jaw, so... Yeah, it is a cool cutscene. Like, I want to be very clear that uh, Insomniac <laughs> made some very cool cutscenes, and this game is awesome. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just slightly annoying watching them a hundred times, that's all. Look, I run Pokemon, the fact that you could skip any cutscenes is, like, wild. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So uh, now we unlock uh, the Venom Punch and the uh, Venom Meter you'll see in the top left hand of the screen. Venom Punches uh, for this Rhino fight are used to stun him, essentially. For most common enemies, a Venom Punch on this difficulty is a one-hit KO. Well, so if you see uh, anything build up Venom, so we're using web shooters just to get more Venom, we're dodging things just to get more Venom, we're doing everything here to just punch him in the face with electricity, which stuns him, which allows us to punch him some more. Three cycles of that, three more cycles inside. That's a general boss fight, and uh, managing your Venom becomes really the key part of the combat moving forward. It's yes. a matter of the Venom attacks are by far your best ways to deal with enemies, because again, it's basically an instant KO, and you always want to be using the Venom whenever you have it. You always want to make sure you have it for specific situations. It's a uh, this is all a big old resource management game hidden behind a uh, action combat game, essentially. Yeah, so like you only have one ability now, but the the later we go, we'll we'll get different abilities that allow you to do a few different things that can really mix up how 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 you do with crowd control. Because right now we are the 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 only thing that you lack more towards the start is dealing with multiple people at at the same time. Also, uh, shout outs to the 100 combo in the. Uh, yeah, like, the I, always, in, in the I always get a 100 always get combo it. there. I don't know why. You if you struggle get. with the achievement, uh, try a new file. I don't know, man. It works. Like, <laughs> you get it every single time. I get it every time. I don't know why. Even when I play poorly, I get it. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why. So, uh, could you please uh, mute the game audio for. Uh, Copyright nonsense coming up. This is a very, very long cutscene. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a lot that happens during this cutscene. There's a lot that happens here. Does that mean it's a good time for donations? Uh, of course. Have fun. All right. We have a dev train going right now. We have... $500 from Insom Dev Grant Parker that says, let's get this dev donation train started. Thanks for playing Miles and giving to Prevent Cancer Foundation. And thanks for a great game, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, for the next one, could you consider a speedrun mode option like in Ratchet, <laughs> please? Thank you. We also have $200 <laughs> from Insom, Insom Dev Matt Forster that says, The most heroic thing you can do today is donate to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Thank you, Pessilist, for the run, and thank you, Spider-Man, for the heroic example. Hope you're all excited for Spider-Man 2! Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Very excited. We are yeah, very, ex we're very excited for a uh, couple of these glitches that you see. Uh, we're very excited to see if they'll still be in the new oh, yeah. one. We're excited to see if It'll... everything we know still works in the, late, in, like, <laughs> the new installment. Yeah, that'll be fun. We have more dev donations if you're if you've got yep, time. you have all the time in the world have fun <laughs> all right cool we have 100 dollars from insom dev odin that says shout out to the insomniac dev team for an amazing game i look forward to gdq every year and all the support you show to the dev teams thank you for your donation we also have 25 dollars from insom dev phil d that says much love from the art team here at insomniac games We have $25 from Cuca that says, Puns, I want pictures of Spider-Man. Listen, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> JJJ. You're, you're doing great. You're doing, you're doing you. great. Just, you I'm got the enthusiasm it. down. That's what it's about. <laughs> Thank you. Lots of yelling. If you think about it, we're getting 60 frame pictures of Spider-Man every second. So. Yeah, we are. We are. Yeah, we're getting two, two, right picture, two, two right pictures per <laughs> second of Spider-Man. Double so. value right now. Get me pictures of Spider-Men. 
So just wait till uh, the new game comes out, and there are two of them even more. That'll be uh, <laughs> two of them. JJ will be uh, going ballistic, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> that's that's a really good sentence. Two of them even more. The two. Hey, more donations, please. Awesome. As an update, we are at 48,000 out of the 80,000 needed for that portal bonus game incentive. We are, we are, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're going to do it. I am so convinced, chat. I have an appropriate donation for this. I have $25 from Kaze Garashi that says, get me cutscenes of Spider-Man. <laughs> I think we, I think we did. <laughs> I think we, we will. Can, we we are can getting complete that. that task for you. We can do yeah. that. We can do that. Like, glad to be of service. So, um, finally done with that cutscene, and we're just going to um, unlock the skill tree. You'll see it two more times in the run. We're just required to unlock a thing real quick. Uh, Burke, you, you know when the copyright music stops, don't you? Yeah, I do. You can call it out, please. Yeah. Yeah, it, it yeah. kind of goes on for a little bit. It's, it goes it on for goes a little, little bit. Yeah, it's still going. Yeah, so we're just going to um, hop on over to Genki, and uh, Burke, while you uh, call out when to turn on game audio, can you explain the uh, launch we're going to try to go for here? Like right now? Just go for right it? Now. <laughs> right now. Right now. Yeah, it. so there's two ways to do this, but the way he's going to do it is using Photomode and with the Photomode shortcut that he assigned earlier. So if you uh, pause and then enter Photomode, like right right okay. after and then you can go to like settings and okay. or uh, controller layout once you back out of that and exit photo mode um you can slow the game down to a halt and then you can uh, have miles just launch across there also it's good to unmute the game audio now yeah. going to uh clip your suit real quick and oh, let's see if yeah. i can we do it. it we got it Okay, got the pause. I open the uh, photo mode and the pause menu at the same time. I wait for that to cause this cutscene. And to then it stop. slows down completely. Wait a second. That should be good. Now I wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exit photo mode and watch and them go. You get a massive speed boost. And this basically allows you to fly directly to uh, where the next check where the next checkpoint is. So the alternative method of doing that is uh, you can change the game's um, performance mode uh, from performance to performance ray tracing are the two that we use, and you can open up the PS5 share menu at at the same time, and then you can get a very similar effect. But that way, it's just way more consistent at at getting very similar launches over and over and over again. So that yeah. one's definitely the more preferred me method of doing it. The that wasn't was even the uh, best launch you can get there. <laughs> yeah, that was that was very good. The share menu is definitely much funnier. Yeah, not that oh, that yeah. wasn't, we'll, not that that we wasn't will funny. get to it. So, so what's like weird is there's a lot of weird little things that you can do in this game. So with the PS5 menu system, this also works on PS4. If you open up the any PS5 menu while holding a button, the game you can still play the game behind the. Um, like menu you have open, so there's loads of different glitches you can do by having the game playing behind the me uh, behind the menu, and, and and do many different things. We use it in Peter game. Uh, that's uh, what we're gonna refer to as 2018. Out of just, <laughs> I'll do it automatically. So I'll make my, I'll say it now before I forget. Um, we do it to do a thing called a manual save glitch where you can edit, you can kind of manipulate Spider-Man's position in certain loads. It's and, not uh, <laughs> Oh, it was sorry. nice of Sony to just give a, yeah, a console-wide menu uh, storage. Yeah, we just get tech from just having the menu. Oh, Pez is doing a training mission here where he has to destroy these, like, dummies. Yeah, yeah this is a weird uh, kind of tutorialized fight. Uh, yeah. This is really this is a... hard to try to do quickly because yeah, the game is constantly actually... yelling what you should do. And um... This is very hard on any percent. On uh, New Game Plus, uh, we use Venom Jump and uh, it bodies the entire thing. <laughs> and then you get into the non-tutorial fight where uh, stealth kills um, instantly take dudes out. Remember that yep. for later. That will become more relevant as we go. And uh, you can see, really, I'm just trying to mix up. Anytime my web shooters are available, I want to be using them because they are associated with a cooldown. 
and they will also quickly build up a uh, Venom Beater for me to do. So it's really just, I, I'm trying to make sure something is happening every second is the main thing. It yeah. doesn't matter what decision I make, I just need to be doing something at all times. Yeah, so trying to try and maintain a high combo count so then you can continuously gain finishers over and over again is like what he's trying to continue to do whenever he's in combat. And then there are m many, many instances where, like, we try and go for all stealth, which we'll do at some point. Um, but there's so many, like, when it comes, like, we, we'll, we'll keep saying this, but combat is all about trying to, like, understand the, the quickest, to think about the quickest way to do the everything that you can do within the time span that you have. Oh, you can do, yeah, we, yeah we've got more bunny hopping going now. So yeah, we have the, oh, dude, you got something. And, uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's a, a, a really weird tech where whenever the game forces your menu to open, which it will do when it's trying to show optics in the open yes. world, my bunny hops aren't doing great, uh, you can uh, create a uh, marker on the map and that will just stop the animation from playing and yeah, allow you, you can, to close the map. You so if there are random the waypoints on the screen during the run, that's why. Yeah, you can kind of just match the button and then it gets rid of it for you, which is very useful. Yeah, I would just, my brain would just be like, that's where I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go there. Yeah. So, uh, here's a fun one. This cutscene we're going into, you cannot skip on PS4. Yeah. There's a it's couple the of like one. that. Yeah, it's the only one. You can skip it here. So that's why we're not on PS4, other than loads. <laughs> yeah. He broke a bunch of stuff. This PS4 uh, loads pretty slow. What can you do? And uh, more, uh, more fights. Uh, Rebel Burke, you want to take it away? Yeah, so the guys with the big uh, fist that he just punched, um, they're normally pretty annoying to take out if you don't have Venom. So not, so they block your standard attacks. So you either have to dodge through them or you have to uh, uh, Venom punch them or Venom... Like any Venom attack will either knock the fist off of them and or knock them out for you. So um, you want to try and make sure you have bar, bar for that. And it's normally difficult at this point in any percent because you've only got one bar. So you're having to change which which of the guys you go after at which time. Uh, the guys with the guns, some of them are very, very aggressive and they will chase you down and try and find you. Some of them are really passive. The the, the enemy AI in this game is, can be really weird. Um, so some in some points we'll try and manipulate it to like our advantage to try and draw people towards us, but sometimes it doesn't really work. See, that guy with the fist really, really wanted you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> he went was for going. It. Like, I admire the commitment. Uh, yeah. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, finishers, which again, 15 hit combos, we get a finisher. Uh, air finishers are the fastest animation, so yeah. I will always try to be in the air whenever I use a finisher. Yeah. And the finisher is another reason you just want to be hitting dudes, like no matter what, because as long as you're hitting dudes, you are building up combo. So for the uh, next finisher, which is an instant KO. So there's just never a reason to not do something. You always want to be actively attempting to hit someone in the face. It's a general strategy. Yep. Yeah, remember your APCs, always be combat. Yeah, always be comboing. <laughs> always always be, be comboing. comboing. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and, uh, and uh, breaking the window there is ever so slightly... Oh, there was a guy there. Yeah, I didn't see him either. <laughs> I, uh, I thought you were done. So, so, did normally, I. <laughs> so the whole idea is also in that combat as well, for like, optimization purposes, you want to try and hit someone through that window so then you can walk straight to the uh, straight to the uh, command thing that um, you need to hit. Uh, something funny, if you go too close to the building on the left that he just passed, it will throw you back towards the crane. If you get too close to it, the game doesn't like you going there for some reason. Yeah, it's uh, it's like go back to the mission. Yeah, like, it's like, yeah, for some reason. For right. some reason. So uh, we're going into our first uh, Miles bit where we don't get the Spider-Man powers. We're just uh, Miles doing Miles things. And yeah. uh, these bits, they're all uh, dialogue based. We need certain dialogue to play. We need to hit a couple different triggers in order to advance the thing. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, May, did you prepare something for this so one? Yeah, so I, if you're not, from, if you're wondering, like, why is Corvin May, the Pokemon speedrunner, here doing the Spider-Man game that she doesn't run? 
It's because I do other things too. One of which is Think Fast, the speedrunning game show, which is on the GDQ Hotfix every other Saturday. Uh, check it out, it's pretty good. And so, Pestilus asked me to come on and quiz uh, him and our couch about their Spider-Man knowledge. And I have no idea if these are too hard or too easy. These might all be too easy, we'll see. But if you're in chat, you're allowed to play along at home as well. So just start typing your answers in chat as uh, as fast as you as you can. There's no, unfortunately, unlike in Think Fast, I don't think I'm allowed to give you time for being right. <laughs> but I, can we get a live record by you just giving time? Is that how this? Works? So we've been trying to petition uh, SRC to let us uh, accept Think Fast times to boards, and they say that is. Uh, unfair and not everyone's allowed can be on the show at all times. So I don't know. We're we're, we're working on it. One of Dad's old case files. So are you all ready? I wonder if Dad ever caught me. For the, for our first and we'll we'll do more of these throughout the run. We got a lot of cutscenes to get through. So play along in chat, please. In what year did Spider Man's first solo series debut? Hmm. <laughs> Going to say 68? That is incorrect. The greatest record ever? 62. That is incorrect. But it is uh, closer. I mean, I'm like 1960. That is incorrect. Okay. You don't have to wait for anybody else to mm. guess, by the way. You so, can just keep spitting out your answers. Yeah, That's 63? how we do it on the show. That's how we we'll do like, it. Wow, chat's spot. popping off with numbers now. Okay. Oh, God. The numbers <laughs> oh, my brain was also oh, no, screaming. chat. Oh, no. My, my brain was also screaming 1945 for some reason. But it's I not don't 1945. Think that's uh, no. One of you was very close. That's uh, yeah, 64. My brain instantly went to Amazing Fantasy 15. Sorry, so what is Spider Man's first solo series? Was the question, though. Yeah. So that would not be Amazing Fantasy 15. Yeah, it would not. Yeah. Right. So we're just going to throw 60 numbers out there. 65? 65 is also pretty close. 66. 63. 63! The Amazing Spider-Man okay. number one debuted in March 1963. Nice. How many of these do you got want me want from me right now? Uh, I need to ask Chat a very important question first. If you gotcha. live in Manhattan and it's Christmas and would someone climbs on a roof, would you see them? <laughs> would you see I need Miles to know. doing this? And would you see Miles doing this? Because there are dudes on the street. I need to know. Would you see this and how would you react? No, everyone's would on you the like, phone. Would you like do something or is this just like a normal day in Harlem? Like I need to know, guys. <laughs> very Santa. important. I live in Chicago. We don't we don't have Spider Men there, so I don't know. We don't have men that close windows in, in yeah. the uh, UK, sadly, so I can't judge. Yeah, it's just it's weird. It always happens in New York. I guess it's just a local thing. Yeah, we don't have tall buildings where I'm from, so. Well. Should we maybe intersperse? Before we get to that next question, should we maybe get a couple donations? Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. I have so many. I've been sitting here giggling to myself at many of them. Um, I do have a couple more from the devs at Insomniac. I have Insom Dev Aaron donating $25 that says, thanks to the whole GDQ family for being everyday superheroes and raising funds to prevent cancer. I also have $50 from Insom Dev Mary at Yovina that says, psyched to watch this run of Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Good luck, Pestilist. All right, I'm reading chat. Apparently, Manhattan people in Manhattan do not look up, and uh, would not care is what I'm getting from chat. So, okay. okay. <laughs> that is very are, good to know. Y'all are not allowed to read chat when I ask you questions, by the way. That is cheating. Okay. Yeah. So we'll keep that in mind. Be aware. So, uh, yeah, we then didn't... again, answers are going to be flooded through. So <laughs> that's yeah. true. It is. There's a lot of people here who all really want want to get their answers out. That all really want to win. The competitiveness. Yeah, yeah. I love to see Wait. it. So uh, that's a friendly neighborhood app. I'm. You have to swipe the uh, touchpad. I'm rebinding it to. Uh, I swipe the, the touchpad because I'm one of those <laughs> so, heathens. You are one of those heathens. I never I so, changed uh, it now. 
So, uh, first example of a boost using the PlayStation Share menu. I wait for uh, that to show up. I open the PlayStation Share menu when I restart Checkpoint, and that and there you go. It gives God, you a nice little boost of speed. Uh, Music depending... system menus is so cool. Yeah, uh, depending on the speed you get, you can actually get to about 17, 50 meters away from where you need to be. But essentially, you grab that boost, and then you just bunny hop as far as you can from there. You try and maintain as good. Yeah, oh, you, really uh, the, uh, you can see there's quite a bit of RNG in terms of like trucks and things. I'm pretty yeah. sure the uh, optimal speed run would be a PC run where you uh, turn on the settings where there's like no traffic. Yeah, more than you like just so. don't have to worry about it. Although you do get a little speed boost from actually hopping off a car. So yeah, that's so, a little benefit. Yeah, so that's like a joke in uh, like in like some of the missions in in uh, 2018, where like you can get what we like to call a car boost because sometimes you'll land on a car <laughs> and you just get flung off of it. Like going to Fisk Tower? Uh, yeah, going to Fisk Tower. You get a burst of speed and you just fly straight forward and it's very, it's, it's very cool. To be fair, that is also what I would do if I was hit by a car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I for Genuinely, one would just go fast off it. <laughs> Genuinely same. <laughs> just, he's just like me. We say checkpoint skips a little thing here and a really important menu coming up. Because uh, we're going to unlock our next Venom power, which is a Venom Jump. And Venom Jump is uh, kind of, sort of, very, very OP. Oh yeah, it's the best one, actually. So uh, we're going to unlock that. Uh, the eagle-eyed one of you might notice I have a bunch of uh, unlock points. I have six skill points. I'm only going to use three. That's because uh, I pre-ordered the game, a pre-order bonus of three skill points. Uh, you're not allowed to use that, so uh, if I have three uh, skill points at any given time, uh, don't worry about it. That's just how it is. Did Miles so. just find, like, a syringe and just stick it in himself? It's a, it's called a tech part. It's a, a tech part. Oh, a tech It's a tech, tech part. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, here's a Venom Jump. Here's, a here's the cast skating effect that uh, the Venom Jump gives us. First of all, as you see, it stuns people by bringing them in the air. Second of all, it allows us to wail on them. Third of all, as we're wailing on them, we are building up Venom Meter, which means if we get a couple people in a Venom Jump and punch them a bit, we have enough Venom to do another Venom Jump. I think you can see where this is going. Yeah, so Venom jumping. Yeah, so the whole kind of gameplay loop when you unlock Venom Jump um, is uh, you Venom Jump hit people, Venom Jump hit people, and that's your best form of crowd control in this because the enemy AI is really aggressive and they like to basically they all like to gang up on Miles, so they all run at you anyway. So it's incredibly easy to group them together. We don't need to actually use the game's. Um, kind of crowd control ga gadget because enemies are very aggressive normally anyway and then if they aren't aggressive it's pretty easy for us to get over to them to hit them anyway and yeah. normally there's only one or two you oh, can see really the first turn. instance Ooh, of turning the corner that was a real spicy turn <laughs> that was so it, spicy. it is nice. very hard to turn corners when you buddy hop it is yeah. uh really only useful for going straight for the most part but uh that was awesome that was so good <laughs> So, uh, a little more tutorializing. This is tutorializing stealth for us. Stealth is an instant KO on dudes. So if stealth is an option, we're just always going to do it. Because it's an instant KO on dudes, it doesn't use any of our resources. So yeah. why would we not? Oh yeah, there's one thing I like to point out here for this section. For like, if you're playing the game on New Game Plus, this box that he's looking at, um, since there's really no tutorials on New Game Plus, that box will just disappear. Yeah, so on New Game yeah. Plus, we have to do a very different strat where, like, we go over to the right, we take out one of the guys in the middle and get everyone to come and attack us. But then, because there's no real tutorial for it, so we have to do a very different thing to try and get through this. Yeah, because any percent doesn't have those sorts of moves and resources, uh, dropping things on guys is good for an instant KO. Uh, using stealth cut knockouts is good for an instant KO, and we can do that and only have uh, two dudes left at the end of this, so we can just spend and punch one, web up the other guy, bada bing, bada boom, yeah, we cool. have donation time. <laughs> Alright, we have time.
tons. I have $15 from PuppyCat915, and it says, HGDQ 2023 is our first GDQ as a married couple, and unfortunately, our first GDQ where we can't watch the whole marathon together. My husband is away for work where he works to develop a cure for cancer. As Spider-Man, my husband's favorite superhero says, with great power comes great responsibility. I'm so proud of all your hard work. Can't wait to finish off the end of the marathon with you when you come home. Love you, Cure Light Wounds. I, from Cummins. Uh, all right, May is going to have to help me with this one. Did you oh, want bye. GLaDOS voice as JJJ or JJJ as... Which which voice am I trying to put on <laughs> these donations? I think, I think both. <laughs> Just mix them in there, huh? I have one from Library Nerd. It's $50, and it's from JJJ Dos, uh, and it just says, my optical sensors lack images of airboats. But I also could yell that and say, my optical sensors lack images of airboats. <laughs> oh, I don't know what? which one I like better. Uh, those are both good. Those are both good. Away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. As an update, we are very quickly approaching 50,000 out of that 80,000, but that is still 30,000 to go for that bonus game unlock. If you want to see airboat percent, if you don't know what we're talking about and you want to see airboat percent, you got to get those donations in and make sure you hit that incentive. Click it at the bottom of the donation page and hit apply. Yeah, let's get that portal run, people. I want to see what airboat percent is. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm really curious myself. I I've, say, I've heard very good things. I will say just remember something that we should actually point out. Uh, you might see pets level up every now and then. Uh, level ups give you like like little things like they give you some me some melee damage increases, swing speed increases, and other things like that. Um, so uh, and normally the swing speed doesn't it helps a little bit normally, but like if you bunny hop every if it when you're bunny hopping it really doesn't matter as much, but. You might see Miles like explode every now and then, and that's the uh, level up. Again, just like me. Yeah, yeah. I explode when I level up. <laughs> you just explode on your birthday? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. is is, is Levely is a birthday a level up? Oh no! Oh. No! I feel like I get weaker with each birthday, personally. Oh, yeah, I feel like it's a nerf every year. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that one. You, but the number does one, go up. The number does uh, go up. Yeah, it does go up. You got me there. If you're wondering how fast bunny hopping is, it is legitimately quicker to bunny hop all the way around the central park than it is, it is to swing go through, through it. Because no, we used to swing like like diagonally through it to 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 get there. But no, it's genuinely faster to to take the right angle and go uh, around it, which makes like. Little to no sense if, like, you're thinking about normal, like, speedrunning lines, but that's just how fast you go. When Bunny hopping is just, uh, pretty good. Is that uh, all it really comes down to? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter how quickly I get to this, though, because if I get there before, uh, before, um, Aaron start, starts talking, then, uh, it's soft locks, so. But Don't you can't just restart that. checkpoint to fix yeah. it. Yeah, you yeah, can just restart checkpoint to fix it, but it's a thing. So, uh, want to talk about this fight, Rebel? Yeah, so, uh, this fight here, you want to take out a few guys, and, uh, you need to take out these, uh, these, uh, bombs. Something that you kind of want to try and do a little tiny bit of at the start, which you saw best do. If you use Venom Jump by the cars, the cars explode, and can cause a little bit of damage to the, um, to, uh, to, uh, the guys. The guys all left you alone there, essentially. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, so, um, on each of these, like, floors, floors by the bomb, there's a few guys that you have to take out. Um, whenever you use the, uh, whenever you defuse the bomb by throwing it and then, um, and, uh, and then webbing it, it actually refills your web, so you can actually use it to get a free web refill if, uh, if, uh, you need it. Yes, uh, Oh, okay. you, you definitely got shot there. <laughs> yeah. So, like... So it goes. Uh, what the heck? Oh, you... The you targeting really system can really get... Uh, want you to do it. Yeah, targeting system can get very slightly wonky sometimes. Usually not an issue. It was there. So... Yeah, what can so you do? now Venom Jump being godlike and just hitting all of them. Yeah, because you have to understand it's not... It hits people. When we hit people, we get Venom. Venom allows us to uh, jump again. It's just... It's really good. Uh, these, uh, 
Fist Guys, interesting combo. A Venom Jump, Venom Punches do not take them out. A Venom Jump will. Also, you cannot normally uh, hit them up and web them like I like to do for uh, most common enemies. But if you dodge underneath them and you attack from behind, you can air launch them and web them. And I'm. That's honestly the best way to take out most of this guys. You don't have that. Yeah. Any, so. Yeah. 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 So, so uh, you'll see. So like that entire mission there was essentially like tutorializing a like the whole side mission mechanic, but essentially it, it, it is a main mission, but it's hidden behind a blue icon, yeah. which is normally used for a side mission. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot to talk about right here in this section. So, uh, it's like yeah. we. Uh, so first of all, uh, after certain story missions, the Insomniac devs made honestly a, a very intelligent decision of, hey, we have a bunch of side quests we want people to do. We're going to put main missions on a timer so they don't just rush through things. They explore the city, you know, do all the side stuff, level up, yada yada. Honestly, like, great decision from a, a casual standpoint. What that means is we have a certain amount of time we need to kill before the next main mission spawns, and uh, we try to do other stuff while we do that. Like, I got a little collectible there, we'll use that for an upgrade later. And you see, I'm constantly going in and out of the uh, Friendly Neighborhood app, the uh, side mission selector, whenever Rio files his club mother calls them. That's because if you select a mission and you unselect it, selecting the mission plays the dialogue that overwrites the uh, dialogue that Rio's trying to give. And then if you do that enough, like she'll keep trying to call back, but if you keep interrupting her, eventually she'll give up. <laughs> and when she finally gives up, gives up, it actually causes this mission to spawn in quicker because the timer does not move whenever there is dialogue playing. Uh, so certain dialogue we can do this with, certain dialogue we cannot, certain it's faster, certain it's not, it's a whole thing. I think the timer still moves, but the issue is, uh, if, because normally when missions spawn in, missions have dialogue, and dialogue won't overlap unless you force them to overlap, like we do with the, um, like, like you're doing with the phone thing where you're playing over it. So, like, uh, in one of the DLCs, The Heist, in, uh, uh, 2018, the final mission, there is a phone call that Miles can phone you, but he has a range of time of when he can phone you. And if he phones you at the wrong time, his dialogue overlaps with, with when the mission's supposed to spawn. And the mission has dialogue of Peter going, oh, I need to go to the docks. And he can't go, and he can't say, I need to go to the docks, and the mission pop, pop up come until Miles has finished talking. And, and so on that's that why one, we do it. <laughs> yeah, and on that one, when Finn says, or when Miles says, like, oh, sorry, we can do it as well, so... You'll see a lot more of those uh, basically whenever we get the chance. That's why you'll never hear JJJ again. That's why you'll yeah. never hear Peter again. Yeah, it, they come back, we just ignore them. So, uh, sorry. Yeah, and like, whenever there's the option to turn off anything that can be like additional dialogue or like the random like podcast things and stuff like that, we always have to turn those off. Some of them are incredibly funny and they're very, very cool. But sadly, they will just lose us time if they appear. So we can't use them yeah, I got it. Uh, so we yeah. can't have them turned on because they can lose us a lot of time if they were so cool yeah. they'd be faster oh yeah yeah oh, yeah. yeah yeah absolutely oh yeah but, they would be <laughs> so um, ruin everything instead so um time to rally this mission i have an active bounty out there is a glitch that we know of that someone has been able to replicate once that uh, you do certain things on the bridge at the end of this mission, and it just skips through all of the cutscenes. It goes really, really quickly. There's no game audio. It is bizarre. We have not really been able to actively replicate it in any type of consistent manner. I have a bounty up, uh, up for it. Anyone is open to claim the bounty if you can find a consistent way to get that glitch. All information on my Twitter, same handle as my username. Uh, you can go go look at that. Uh, help us, please. It would save an hour, please. Didn't, oh my um, goodness. Didn't, um, Berg, didn't you get it once, but then you softlocked and you couldn't get it again, so we couldn't even yeah, look into so... the softlock? The first time I tried it, I got it. And then that was it. Yeah, and then you soft lock shortly afterwards, and then because you couldn't then repeat it, we couldn't then look into the soft lock to be like, how do we avoid this soft lock? Yeah. I tried like, what, 30 more times? I didn't you really get tried. It. You really went. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, so, like, anyone watching wants to attempt to replicate that and claim the bounty, please be my guest. Yeah. So, uh... Um, something very fun about the start of this fight, it empties your venom meter for no real reason. Yeah. So, essentially, the first bit is always build up meter fast and then go. It does the same thing on every other category, like, edgy plus, it, it, it empties it. So, you have to do a very much a, like, a very similar, like, kind of, like, play the start by ear and then go. Um, but yeah, once, once you put a bar, you, you can go back to your Venom jumping and you want to try and like get the, like kind of stay a little bit stationary, but not too stationary. Cause yeah. you can the way see the how works, aggressive the enemies are. In yeah, this because, mission, like, yeah because like the way they work, they will come and attack you, but sometimes they will go to where you've been, not where you are. Cause they're a little bit delayed. So, uh, the other way to do a, uh, launch is visual reload. Change the visual settings. Open the share menu as you do it, and, uh, oh, that was not that. a good no, one. Yeah, I gotta reload this twice. This one is much more random than the other way, which is why we did it the other way for the other thing. And but then there you, go. you can go, oh. Oh, uh, you, uh, you uh, had so close. such a good line. So that so one's close. really, really difficult to control. Yeah. Um, so the problem with that one is because um there there is a photo mode version of it, but I don't but like that one. It's there, really much, precise the photo mode. The photo version. mode one's really precise, but that one there you can get a really precise line and I I have actually gotten basically to the dock area here from one of those launches before. But you have to be so careful about what you're doing with like your like moving your stick or like what you're doing doing with your move. And something we didn't mention with the previous launch, if you do anything other than like dodge or web zip, it resets your speed back to what the game's speed cap is. So you don't want to do anything other than try and let yourself fly and move around a little bit. If you do anything else, you will probably lose all your speed. And also you want to try and avoid splatting into a building because that loses everything. Yeah. Fantastic news for us moving forward. We got a second Venom bar. Yay! Yay. Imagine Woo. now guess what we're going to use it for. Uh, venom jumps. <laughs> jumps are just really good. They are so good that they're the main uh, form of taking dudes out in uh, the new game plus run as well. Yeah. So. Oh, well, dude, a ground finisher. Let's go. Yeah, oh, we're ground much finisher. faster at that trivia question. <laughs> so, so uh, we're just going to pop on over, yep. do some more uh, bridge things. This is the part of the mission where uh, we, uh, where uh, someone found a way to potentially skip the cutscenes. So uh, please help, please, <laughs> please. I want to skip the cutscenes so bad. And uh, this this bit, uh, this is mostly just some scripted stuff. The only real uh, the only real weird thing we can do is um, auto QTEs will do QTEs faster than any and human can. Yeah. So <laughs> you'll see yeah, um, really Miles web things up real, real quick. But there's nothing for us to really talk about. And uh, there's a long cutscene afterwards. So uh, how many donations we have? Because you have all the time you can possibly We got cut. a lot of time. <laughs> Oh, we have so many donations. I have a bunch of people that are on this $5 hype train going. I have $5 from Anonymous that says, I need donations, donations for Spider-Man. I have another $5 from Al the Canadian saying, bring me pictures of Pestilus playing Spider-Man. He's a menace for wanting to skip the cutscenes. They're adding more time for us to meet the portal <laughs> airboat incentive. I agree. True. This is true. This is true. true. Yeah. Can't argue with that. And as an update, we are still fast approaching the 50,000 out of the 80,000. If you jump on this $5 hype train right now and you go down and hit incentive, the incentive for the portal airboat percent, and you click add incentive when you go to donate, we will we will hit it in no time, chat. I know you can do it. I have, oh, Game and Shout's going to make me work for this. $25 for, from Mr. Game and Shout that says, Parker, where are my pictures of, uh-huh, Parker? Where's Parker? Has anybody seen Parker? And who's this new web-slinging menace? Miss Brent, get me someone who can figure out where Parker's gone. His workload just doubled and those pictures aren't going to take themselves. Thank you for the 25, Mr. Game and Shout. I have $25 from Jonid Crushfire that says, no runs of Portal Man? Sports. Oh, I'm sorry. No runs of Sportal Man. Okay, we had to. We had to make that one word. You're fired. What? You have donations. You're hired again. Go get me donations for Sportal Man. 
I also have something that's really going to put the pressure on you, Pestlist. Oh, no. I have $50 from C Average. It says, hey, hey Pest, it's great to see you running Spider-Man on the big screen again, even if it's the Miles game instead of a Peter game. Here's $50 if you can answer May's toughest trivia question correctly, and I'll double it. If you answer incorrectly, I'll still double it, but you'll be wrong on the internet. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, right, damn. I, well, I'm going to be wrong on the internet. That's the problem. All right, oh, let's, yes. Let me figure out which one's the hardest one. I have to one. say, yeah, I think we need one more donation while May thinks about what the hardest one is. No problem. I can do $100 from McOrpheus, and it says nothing like AGDQ to help with the January blues. Recently finished Miles Morales myself, so looking forward to seeing it destroyed. I was going to wait until Blood Thunder's Bioshock run, but had to help get Portal in the marathon. Best of luck to all the runners. All right, I've got it ready. And again, okay. oh, chat, boy. you are allowed to play too. This is, it's interactive content. In 1981, climber and skyscraper safety activist, Dan Goodwin scaled what landmark building while wearing a Spider-Man suit? Is this only for uh, Pess right now? No, I think it's all of us. They, but, did, but, so I'm but going to say the, in the hot seat. So I'm going to say the Chrysler Building. That is incorrect. They were going to uh, me. They didn't I even listen. I believe I know this one. Well, then you're allowed to guess. And then the Pess, Empire State Building. That is wrong. Uh, I figured it couldn't be that. Uh, please mute the game audio for copyright. I'm just adding myself as a, 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 as a bad American geography because I don't know any of the building names <laughs> in oh, New York. Uh, okay. Try not to look. Not looking at chat. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> say. Well, that cost us rocks on property. Uh, destroyed wind towers? I don't this know. Is up. That is incorrect. That's not what happened. Uh, when Well, guys, I should I should post it in uh, chat so that uh, they got a chance to maybe pin it so people don't lose track of the question. So don't lose track of the question. Yeah. Mm. Don't lose track of the question. Oh. Yeah, you picked the hard one. Uh, yeah, that is I, hard. I was told to. This was my idea, by the no. way. And then uh, I didn't know that the hard one was going to be part of it. So <laughs> I still wasn't prepared. See, average came in. He's like, right, time to make it hard. Yeah, it's too easy on I think we need a couple donations while we think of better guesses. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We'll give you some time. I've got $25 from Gleam Eyes. It says, quick, bring me pictures of cake and airboats. doesn't give up. I've got $50 from Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson here. Audio log number 63. An hour ago, our science team came across a weird phenomenon in New York City. A bunch of pictures spreading across the place of someone called Spider-Man flying over the skyscrapers. Sounds like a bunch of baloney. Still, can't get left behind the game. So I bought all of them. All two billion, in fact. Gonna get the lab boys to analyze them to get some of that web swing in action. Over and out. Hey, Addison Square Garden? I got it is not Madison Square Garden. There are I'm actually just, three correct answers for this. Fix anything. I only need you to. Three. I only need you to give me one. I also did never say, chat, that it was in New York City. Oh, I, that's, oh I thought it was gosh. in New York. Okay. Wow. Okay. I never said that. You were all just assuming because oh, you heard so, Spider-Man. So oh, so you can fix this. Also, does that mean I can say like ones in London, like the Spire and uh, Canary <laughs> Wharf? You'd be wrong, but you could. I could say though. I, I knew they'd be wrong. <laughs> No, like the Golden State Bridge? I don't know. It is not the, the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> do you want to, do you want, do you want it, do you want, we, I could give the, the answer, we the, can move to, the, no? I want to, I don't know what the Washington Tower thing is called. The Space what, the Needle? Washington the Washington Monument? Washington Monument? 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 Is that what you're thinking of? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I, I don't know American landmarks. <laughs> it is okay. not the Washington Monument. All right, we'll give you. Okay. Well, I'll give you the answer, and we'll we'll do a little bit of an easier one. Hopefully, C's okay. still okay with that. How about that? <laughs> the answer okay. was the Sears Tower. You could have also answered the John Hancock Center or okay. the Renaissance Tower in Dallas. Yeah, I never would have. I didn't know those buildings existed until three seconds ago. <laughs> until so. now, <laughs> no. What is happening? I didn't know a building existed. 
All right, here's a, here's one about the game itself. Okay. Marvel Spider-Man, the 2018 game, uses a shader technique to make buildings appear to have rooms behind each window. What is this technique called? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, my I, gosh. Uh, I don't know the word for it. <laughs> I, didn't, didn't uh, I don't know the word either. Also, we're good to have the game oh, audio yeah, back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Come back. Now I can come back. The game auto switches the suit there, so uh, yeah, Spider Verse so, is back. <laughs> we're good. Yeah, yeah, we all. Dave, uh, this is a fun around. bit where um, this is a wait section, and this call from Rio is the same call that we skipped earlier. It has to play, so it will play now, and it saves time for it to play now instead of it for it to play when it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, the dialogue and phone calls is really weird. Um, it, it, they like they really, really want you to hear the dialogue like in its order, technically, because there's meant to be a phone call with Peter here. <laughs> where like Peter's like, do you know what you're doing? And and like Miles is like, oh, yeah, sure, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, goodness, I do not remember the name of that technique. Ugh. I, I know one word of it, but I can't... I know what? it's like two words, but... What's, what's the, what's the one word? word? So well, this the is, one word that I think of is, like, parallaxing. It is not yeah. par... So this is according to the, uh, the person who originally uh, made, made, like, designed it. So... The, uh, the the Gosh. technique was first created by uh, Drust van Dongen in his 2008 thesis, and this is the term that he made for it. Ew. Maybe yeah, somebody in chat know. knows. They can donate. Are there any donations that maybe know? Can you maybe read yeah, some? <laughs> I can totally read some, but if anyone in chat knows and wants to donate the answer and be correct on the internet, then I feel like that would be really <laughs> exciting. That has to be incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> so far, you all have not really risen to C's challenge, I gotta say. I, I mean, I'm, C I'm is used to it from me, so I'm that's all I have to say. Trivia, so I Hi, Miles. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, can get God. weird sometimes. Uh, goodness. Hello? Yeah, this is... Uh, we got to walk for five seconds, and we have more cutscenes. So can you yep, get we some donations? Can you get some donations so I can get a break from <laughs> from Barbara's hard questions <laughs> for being wrong on the internet? <laughs> Absolutely. There's twenty five dollars from Frustrated Miles, which is appropriate for right now. Okay. It says I played through Miles Morales for the first time yesterday in preparation for watching this run, and I thought I was going crazy with that Rhino Mall exit where Miles is pointing the wrong way. Thank you for making me feel better about failing that sequence. Now to learn how to bunny hop. There's also twenty dollars from JJJ. Says now there are two of them. Don't waste the film, Parker. Just donate to a great cause instead. Cancer is a menace and needs to be stopped. You sure we're ready? We have to be. And just as an update, with that portal, portal bonus run, we're a little over 51,000 out of 80,000 needed to extend GDQ. If you want to see more GDQ, then we have to get those donations in and click that incentive. the core, then we wipe all data. Related to that, $50 from James says GDQ needs more airboats. And I agree. No, as long as we take out the backup supply in Jersey too, I think we won't have light. Still have no Although it has suddenly has light. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let there be light. I'll report us. Should I give you? Should I give you all the answer? The uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I was at the yeah. answer. I'm lost. The, the answer is interior mapping. Ready. Okay. Par yeah. par a chat was saying a lot of people saying a parallax mapping in chat. That is also a There's technique, a but it is not this specific technique. Okay. Okay. And now you know. Now we know. Yeah, now now we know. Uh, you can actually uh, clip inside buildings and and uh, and in some instances, some of the things do go inside, which is very funny. Huh. So in the, in 2018, there are really easy ways to clip through walls. So you can clip through most buildings in the game, and a lot of the like the little cafes and things actually extend inside. <laughs> yeah. So I believe. The office buildings tend to be interior mapped, but yeah, yeah. other mm -hmm. stuff is not. Shut the new form project down. Mm -hmm. Now we know. 
something thing. wrong. So, uh, th so this is an interesting mission because uh, we wait for a very long cutscene and then uh, we get to use Miles's invisibility power for the first time. Yeah. So, uh, in a, so what's funny is in a new game plus run, this is where you technically learn it. <laughs> But in the new game plus one, we have been spamming invisibility the entire beginning. Yes, yes you have. <laughs> because yeah. um, because oh, there's an ability in this game which gives you venom bar for popping in and out of camouflage. It, it gives you a bunch of meter bags based on how much camouflage you had left when you left it. But yeah, new us, game plus pop, runs, you just, we just spam. Pop in and out of it all the time. You just pop in and out every couple seconds and uh, you just never run out of venom. It's uh, It is a different run. And by that, I mean it's surprisingly similar, honestly. I don't, I've don't. i never seen this guy get stuck up here. I've uh, never seen that guy oh, fall that? that level. <laughs> like, uh, sure, that's one for the bingo card. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've not so, seen that. So, fun thing about the uh, visual resets, we can also do it during certain cutscenes, yeah, and uh, that'll smart. speed it up a little bit. Yeah, Whoa! It, it doesn't do it for that long, and different cutscenes have different, like, effectiveness of it. There's one cutscene later where it effectively, like, speeds up the entire cutscene, but it depends on the length of the cutscene and how good of a slowdown you get. So yeah, some there's a lot of RNG to um, that stuff. Oh, and something he did there when he was on the map, uh, if you hold a direction on the stick and on the D-pad, it like doubles your input and it goes double speed to wherever you're going. Yeah. Like the cursor yeah. moves at double speed. Yeah. That's only for Miles, by the way. It does not work for 2018. It does not work for 2018. Okay, corporate oh, espionage. Just the aim clip, perk, take it away. Okay, so he's gonna try to get a melee enemy here. You can uh, get it with a dude with a gun here, but he's gonna try to aim right before he gets hit by this one guy, That's and that will just push early. Miles through the wall. Way too early. That guy is so confused about what you're doing. And also, um, that slam attack there that he's doing go. does, not, does not make it work. So yeah, so now, no. we're, so now we're out of bounds, so, but I mean, we're inside the building. And, I'm in. and yep. you can see the interior is not mapped. Yep. Nope. There are um, certain audio triggers we need to get in here, and then we can fall into this hole, not get stuck on this vent, like literally spamming dodge. Just zoom over here. When the camera moves, we got it. Reset checkpoint. And we just skip the small sequence where you go in a vent. Yep. <laughs> it, just, it just skips a little bit of a sequence. Um, it saves quite a bit of time, actually, depending on how good of an aim, uh, an aim clip you get. Uh, this one, you actually have to do this descent. It's very funny. Like, you can't just drop here. Yeah. You yeah. Have to, yeah, yeah, the, you have the to funny, slowly drop down. The funny thing about Aim Clip, I accidentally found it in the other Spider-Man game, doing a different method to clip into walls. And for whatever reason, some dudes were just shooting me while I was trying to do my other method, and the shooting me poked me through the wall, and I was like, uh, thanks guys, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I was trying to do that, but thanks. And something very <laughs> useful about both this game and 2018 game right. is they, they are very similar, and a lot of the same stuff works in both um, of them. So whenever we get one thing to work in one, we try on the other. So yeah, so now we're using remote mines for things. So remote mines are little explosives that can be used to stun enemies and they do a lot of damage. They can also be used to hit those little ground things and create bigger areas of, of effect. Should be a vent in that room. Leads to a lab. So you, you want to try and do that room in um, in a stealth so you get all the takedowns. Yep, remote and mines are very important, very good. They do a good amount of damage, they stun enemies. If they're on those little panels, they amplifies the range and the damage and everything yeah. else. So, uh, so now that Pez is actually using his gadgets, we should actually explain how gadget refills work. Because uh, we haven't yeah. needed to do that. So oh, essentially, um, gadgets in this game, when whenever you use one, it obviously takes one away from your stock. Um, and the way you get them back is every time you defeat an enemy, there is a percentage chance that the enemy will drop a will drop a gadget for you there is an ability that increases the drop rate but essentially the management of your gadgets is incredibly important because the drop rate is not as high as it was in peter game and also in 2018 you could get gadgets back by using finishers finishers don't give you gadgets automatically in this game you they it still has a percentage chance on the enemy defeat to give you one but it's not guaranteed like it was in 
2018. So the reason why Venom jumping and the Venom moves wind up better than just using the actually probably more powerful in a lot of situations remote mine is because we can't rely on getting remote mines back consistently. So the next best thing is for us to use the, the second best thing. They're very good in stealth like that, though. Yes. Yeah. They can instantly take a guy out without being noticed, which uh, means we can combo it by cut stealth taking out one dude and then remote mining the other. It cleans things up quite a bit, thankfully. It's like, where's the last dude? Uh, there you are. And something good about the rock jump guys is they will run at you and attack you pretty pretty consistently. So. Oh yeah, the the enemies are hyper aggressive, and that is both very helpful and very annoying, depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, okay. Are you gonna? Oh, have you got Venom Smash? Can you do the Venom Smash thing? You got it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you can also just zip down there too. You can also you can zip also down just there. fall down there. But, no, 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 no. You have to bend and smash. That's wow. that's 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 the high point of fall down. Yeah, I mean you got that right. So um, this is sort of a cutscene. It's a walking cutscene. Do we have donations for walking cutscenes? <laughs> oh, absolutely. We have donations for every kind of cutscene in this case. A hundred dollars from Bosper says, "Come on, chat! A portal speedrun without portals? This is a must. Get hyped and do your thing." And the donations are rolling in. We're at fifty-two thousand out of the eighty thousand needed for that bonus game. But time is running short, and you know how speedrunners are—they're fast. So let's not wait till the last minute. Let's get those donations in for Portal yeah. Airboat percent. Yep, warning, this run's actually pretty good, so, uh, you're going to want to get those in quickly. Yeah, this has been a pretty solid thing of what's going on. Um, so, yeah, this cutscene unlocks, uh, the, um, the, uh, Venom, like, explosion thing. I can't remember what the... Well, it uh, doesn't no, actually Tinker unlock it. Does. Oh, no, it unlocks it later, but it first, it shows the it to Tinker you. Cut does, yeah, the yeah. Tinker cutscene does. Yeah, the Tinker cutscene does it, sorry, my, yeah. But... <laughs> There was a, like we we had a lot of fun working out how to not accidentally <laughs> do that move. Now what am I gonna do? Back when this game first came out, we were like, oh, we just how do we not do it? So say hi to Shield guys. Yep, Shield, Shield guys, guys the game the game's going to tutorialize. Oh, if you press and hold the triangle button, you can disarm the shield, and then you can punch them around or whatever. Uh, there's another method that also gets us around their shield. Take a guess. Yes, Venom Jump. Venom jump. Venom jump. <laughs> Who could have foreseen? Venom Jump <laughs> automatically gets through to them, and then you just win. Yeah, so. Venom Jumping's pretty good, guys. I don't know if you've caught on yet. Oh, and, uh, uh, and you can see the range being able to get works. the guy Remember, on the Remember higher ledge. Yeah. Remember, might <laughs> also instantly get get some get some as well. You can oh, also right. do a. I think you can also do a venom grab as well. That also gets through to them. Uh, I don't think you can do the dash on them. I think they just reflect it. Potentially, I don't remember because I normally just venom jump at more remote mine. I'm not normally thinking about that. All right, so this fight here uh, we have Prowler doing really? stuff. Interesting. Um, I don't know how useful Prowler really is on. Eh, not that useful. Uh, we start to get enemies like that that can shoot you in a way that stops you from using, using venom. venom. That sucks. Yeah, that does suck. Not very fun. I do not like these guys very much. Oh, dude, the rocket, no. Yeah, the like, rocket. Uh, now that I'm low health, we can talk about uh, how you heal in the game is you use your venom meter. Yes. Like, you have to use up a bar of it and then you will heal. If this run goes well, I will never heal ever. Because I want my venom to deal damage. Yeah, we'll Healing is for the slow. So, so yeah, that's just, that's how it be. <laughs> and the end of that mission there, you only have to defeat a certain number of guys. Halfway through, like, kind of halfway through the five, Prowler goes, now nah, we're getting out of it. Bombs yeah. the wall, and then you jump out. And you can stay there and fight the guys, but, you know, you just need to get out. Okay. And uh, we have a nice uh, little bit of reprieve here before... Uh, before even more waiting, so please let's push for that portal incentive, guys. How we doing, Bray? We are currently uh, almost to fifty-three thousand of that eighty thousand needed. So we are. I'm watching it go up. We can absolutely do this, but like I said, don't wait till the last minute. We've got a couple donations here. We've got Meg S with fifty dollars that says portal, please and thank you, and twenty-five dollars from Mo Morrison that says. Peter, where are the pictures of Portal I need? Get them now, Peter, or just donate some more money, or you're fired. 
SD Bestie donates $25. Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, and I'd be re remiss if I didn't donate during this awesome Spider-Man run. Let's kick cancer's butt. Keep them coming. All right, Cinderflame donates $5 and says, $5 dono train for Portal Airboat Chaos. Yeah, get those $5 donations in. Any amount helps us get there. Just make sure you are choosing the incentive on the donation page. There is $500 from Anonymous that says, I have to see this portal run. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. Wait, it's probably a boat. We'll never know if we don't meet it. We have to meet it, chat. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Guys, I want pictures of the airboat, please. <laughs> Yes, you haven't done any air tricks. Where's, where's the air tricks? Uh, these? Oh, hell yeah. So, uh, Mars can do tricks in the air. Um, it's They give you a little bit of EXP on uh, any percent and obviously on NG Plus as well. But we don't, they actually become more useful in, in New Game Plus because we have an ability on that gives us Venom Bar whenever we do tricks. So the entire run is whenever we need to build Venom Bar in, in these in like weights like like we're in now, we swing up out and we just start spinning all over the place, trying to gain yeah. as much bar as possible, and then also using um and then in a lot of cases because we want to get to where we want to get to faster, so we can then potentially you know grab a drink or do whatever. We're also Venom dashing when we have that ability unlocked, and then doing more out of that. And in some instances, you can do Venom dashes infinitely if you're doing your tricks correctly and you're going in and out of stealth correctly. Well, yep. Also, say hi say hi to um that last collectible we're going to get. That is the yep. last side activity we are going to do. Willingly. Yeah. The game will... uh game has plans at some point, but willingly. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the willing side content. Yep. Yep, we're just... We're zooming from here on out, so... uh Donations. All that's going to happen here is Peter's going to call and we're going to uh, ignore him. So donations, please. I have a very special one hundred dollar whoa one hundred dollar donation from Pessilus Mom and Dad, and it just says, "Pessilus Mom and Dad, love you, buddy." Oh, love you guys. Thank you. I've got fifty dollars from Anonymous, and they want me to do both voices. I'll try my best. All right. To the, the tests seem to be mostly running as expected. Only one error occurs. More tests of Spider-Man are required! This test subject is a menace! Okay. I Thank you for your $50. I have $25 from GLaDOS. It says, Menace. It says so right here. Menace. Don't worry. I'm sure it's just some blogger. Wait. It's the Daily Bugle. On the front page. Above the fold. With your picture. And where we're at with that incentive. We're at 53,000 out of the 80,000 needed. Keep those donations coming in. It's also $5 from Cave Johnson that says, Cave Johnson here. So I heard they say that trains are related to airboats and they call me crazy. Anyway, if there is an airboat at the end of this train, I want it. You better hurry up and get those fives in while you still can. Yeah, please do. And you have a very good chance of being red this run. So if you, uh, if you want your donation red, uh, more, more donations, please. This is a long one. Yeah, it's, yeah this is like, there's... So the, so the way the cutscenes normally end up being in this game is we have, there's a couple of long ones at the beginning. Then you get a couple of shorter ones. Then you get like two really long ones in the middle. And then they get like progressively shorter throughout the rest. Yeah. The pacing of this runs really weird. But you yeah, just, like you you start getting into it, and then it's like, oh, cutscene. Oh well, thanks <laughs> knowing you. Yeah, but, uh, like, like you like really the, like after the first early. mission and the first cutscene, then you get to play for like a little for like, a good little bit, even despite the Miles Please walking around mission. And then you get to play even I'm more, doing. and then you get the lovely five minute cutscene at the end of Time okay. to Rally, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's called Rising and Falling Action God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you can get a couple more donations in here before we uh, have a trick to talk about. Uh, Sounds good. $10 from Spider says, Sushi's run of Portal is something you have to see at least once in your lifetime, even without portals. And $10 from Dork that says, 
Can we get a $10 train going? Let's see some portal without portals. Get that cake, befriend some cubes, and have a great old time, or a grand old time. I know we can do it. Yes, we can. Get those donations in. Uh, one more real quick. But I'm here to fix that. Rianus sends in $100 saying, I want pictures of Airbo. I mean, Spider-Man. Is there an Airbo Spider-Man? Is he in the Spider-Verse? Probably. I'm sure there's got to be at least one, right? Was this one of your trivia questions, May? <laughs> no, but I do have Spider-Verse trivia questions that... I get why you're doing at this. At some point. Okay, we'll we will... We'll get to uh, our next trivia question after this trick we have to talk about. Uh, there, in, there is a trick we have to talk about. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. for me. so, uh, like Burke, you want to talk about the the love and joys of Crane Skip? Okay. Yeah. So normally, uh, what Finn wants you to do is to go onto this crane and jump to Fisk Tower from it, but. Uh, the cutscene trigger is actually like right at the start of the crane as well, and there's actually there's actually two methods to do this, but I'm pretty sure Pess is gonna go for the really easy method. Oh yeah, your your method, nah, dude, keep it. All yours. <laughs> well, yeah, all he's gonna do is he's gonna walk into a corner, hold a direction on the left analog stick, and then that's just going to have Miles walk off the crane and activate the cutscene. Yep, uh, sh shout-outs to, um, uh, shout-outs to another Spider-Man runner for real, because I believe he was the first one to do this, he just kind of fell off the crane. <laughs> and we were all like, oh, okay. <laughs> he just kind of walked like off of it. <laughs> If you're if you're wondering what the second method uh, looks like, I can show you the start of it. Cause uh, you're not supposed to have Spider-Man powers in this bit, but if you fall off a ledge and spam jump, you can just sort of do it. So uh, it can be a bit iffy. So we'll see if I can get it. I'll give it a few tries for the uh, for the memes. If I don't get it, oh uh, well. Uh, there we go. Yeah, there you can, you can just spring on up and jog, and you can jump on the railing, and then you jump on the railing, you jump off. It's a whole thing. It's yeah. a whole thing. Burke, it's all yours. You can keep it forever and ever, for it all I faster. care. I'm just going to hold over here. It's like, okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 you got this, you got this. Yeah, let's go, and uh -huh. then you just, oh, and, then, and then there you just kind of fall off, and then it activates the cutscene at uh, the end. <laughs> and that skips. It saves about 20 to 25 seconds, that version of it. it essentially, it skips you kind of waddling along the crane, and it stops, it, it skips an animation of um, Miles, like, like stuttering and nearly falling off, and then you having to wait for Finn jumping. Like, it, it's weird, because there's, there's like a long sequence that, that you just skip there by falling off. <laughs> you just fall off the side. It's really <laughs> funny. All these monitors here, that's uh, that's actually uh, the control room for the stream right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, of course. Uh, speaking of, uh, oh, May, May uh, we have a lot of walking and talking. All what right. type of trivia questions you have? All right, I got a couple for you. First off, and again, chat, I want to see your interest too. What actor influenced Miles Morales' design, according to creator Brian Bendis? Oh uh, my goodness, I should... Michael B. Jordan? That is incorrect. How many times do I have to explain it to him? Miles, this is where my severe lack of actors' names uh, also comes yep. to bite me as well. <laughs> uh, shoot, it's on the tip of my... Donald Glover? That's correct! Hey! hey. We did it! Let's go on! We did it! Specifically, <laughs> I was right on the internet. Yeah, specifically his appearance in the yeah. Season 2 premiere of Community because he was okay. wearing Spider-Man pajamas. <laughs> that's so awesome. That's, that's kind of good, actually. Let's do another Miles one, all right? Okay. What alternate universe Miles Morales was introduced in Ultimate FF number four in 2014? Mm. Ultimate. There's Ultimate FF. And then again, my severe lack of comic knowledge is also. Uh, <laughs> Coming uh, to fight me as well. I wasn't told of going in how much comic knowledge y'all had, okay? I was just told the right questions. Man, was there some sort of evil Miles? 
It is not an evil. There's alliance. always an evil Miles, isn't there? There's always an evil. <laughs> there's always an evil Spider-Man. There is always, Spider evil always <laughs> best Miles, Miles, and worst Miles. <laughs> <laughs> there are always the three tiers. I mean, we know there's a Tails Miles, so it makes sense. Yeah. I hate yeah. E I hate evil Miles uh, kilometers Morales. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Evil Miles Prower Morales. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> good. So uh, let's think about that, because uh, we have actually a really intricate uh, stealth section, if Rebel wants to talk about it. Yeah, so this stealth section is actually pretty um, specific. So you want to move around the arena and take out the... Um, the uh, different snipers all, all, all around before you start um, getting yourself seen and uh, uh, spawning the other waves. Um, the reason for this is because if the snipers are running around, they can really like like mess you up and run away and they take forever to find and take down. So if, if you go around and just take care of all of them as fast as you can, um, they like they 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 will kind of detect what's happening because they have a little bit of audio sense. Like like I, I I said audio sense. Like a human does have ears. <laughs> so, so I've been told. So by doing different things, you can go around and, and stuff, take down as many people as possible. Um, by clearing out the people as much around the arena, it makes it so that when the other guys spawn, they all come from basically one direction, which yeah. is around where Pess is now. So by so by ending it so you can get here, you can you you can try and gather as many people in this one area and take them all out as they're all spawning in from either side. And it's really important to take out those snipers, because those snipers are the type of enemies that like to just stay where they are. And yeah. you saw they are all over the place, so uh not helpful. Doesn't do us any good. And for some reason, if you go right up to this point, enemies usually like to come up here. Yeah, they, they usually come to you. They're uh, not nice. today, so... No, they're really not doing that. That's fun. What in the... I saw a guy <laughs> stuck in a wall somewhere while I uh, zipped away. Oh yeah, that's also very common. Uh, enemies can get stuck in walls in these games. And that can happen. That can happen, and it's very annoying when it does. Uh, because sometimes you don't have an out to... Uh, to uh, get them. Um, also, something funny you can do with this. So you're about to spin around this guy's hand. Um, you can dodge into the hand at the right timing and kind of land on the little like like stick thing he's holding and just spin around with it. I did not know that. I will try it for the first time. <laughs> but there's also something else coming up, which is very awesome. Ah, uh, you missed it. Uh, yeah. It's do, everyone's do it? favorite. It's everyone's favorite barrel. No, no it's not no, here. The barrel no. is spawned. No. The run is. The, 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 we lost the run. Sorry, guys. There's meant to be a barrel in this, in, it, uh, on this lift that you can push about, and uh, he's a very important barrel. It's much like um in the heist DLC in uh 2018. We have pepperoni the. Uh, yeah. Uh, the the rat the and it's the, the best run. barrel because it's randomly there and it doesn't have detection. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have uh, okay. On it. Yeah, you push it and it'll fall out of bounds. So yeah, it's very it, it sad. Just, it it's just, not it there. It just falls out. You can hack it. Bad run, guys. Bad run. I'm sorry. We lost it, guys. That's marathon luck for you. There's there's nothing. We can't recover this. Um. Also, something funny that can happen on this wall. So when you first latch onto this for this wall climbing section. Uh, I've had it where my controls flip on me and they don't unflip until I you detach from the wall and go back onto safely? it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very annoying. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so uh, May, what was your original question? <laughs> Alright, so the question was, what alternate universe Miles Morales was introduced in Ultimate FF number 4 in 2014? With the structure. Tell everyone not to touch it. I, I don't know what FF stands for. <laughs> Fantastic uh, Four? Uh, no frame for towels. <laughs> then I can narrow it down. Okay. <laughs> um, I can give you all a hint. We don't know enough. Okay. Uh, sure. What are it is. Uh, they are related to My a character that was one. in uh, the Spider Verse movie. Chief Chemist, and Roxon killed him. Okay. I mean, like, Scorpion's son? Is that what I mean? That is not right. I've stumped y'all with this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Really well, because, yeah, I'm, I'm not very... I'm really... I'm only really 
movie video game. I never really delved right, into the comics too much. I mean, let's work like through it together. 2099? Uh, okay. I don't know. Let's work through it together. I need power. What are the different Spider Men in, into the Spider Verse? Uh, also, noir, 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 pig. Pig, uh, go on. Oh, is it the. Oh, is it the pig? Is there a spider one? ham, Miles? It is. It is Miles Morhamis. Mo Miles Morhamis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <That's a> after, <laughs> after the death of the original Spider Ham, Peter Porker, Miles Morhamis steps up to oh. become the ultimate Spider Ham. Was, oh my goodness. His oh. uncle is secretly a thief called the Fowler. <laughs> thank you for bringing it. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. It's so good. Honestly, on, on honestly, I'm very upset. I didn't know that prior. And I am very upset. I learned about this just now. So uh, thank you for bringing it to my attention. Yeah, uh, very uh, very valuable lessons were learned live uh, on this GDQ. He makes run. an appearance in Spider-Man too. Yeah. Oh, uh, something I should say about the guys that have been taken out with um, swords. Uh, sword guys are very annoying. They will dodge pretty much everything you do. Uh, uh, the thing he was doing on them is he was doing the Venom dash, thing. which transitions in, into Venom grab, that and that just automatically nails them and then throws them and then stuns them so you can then combo them with whatever you need to do to, to yeah. take them out. We just unlocked a new Venom ability called a Venom dash, which uh, zooms miles forward and latching out at a dude. That's really only used for the uh, sword enemies, because that's the one thing that makes them vulnerable. Until a bit later, when we get an upgrade, that will make uh, the uh, Venom dashes very, very useful. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now, I'm going to see if I can bunny hop quick enough to uh, get to this mission. Mission spawn. Uh, I think I missed the turn, so probably you, you, not. You really did miss the turn, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, what Pez was trying to do is he was trying to body hop towards that mission spawn uh, as fast as he could and and basically make it so he didn't have to do the uh, the uh, fast travel. What's funny is, the fast travel is, that is still faster than traveling there from where he was yep. to do that because um, PS5 the PS5 loads. The, the PS5 loads incredibly fast to the point where you like on the PS4 version, you like whenever the game loads, it shows like a picture of Miles doing different positions and tips and things. Or like when you travel on the subway, it shows him like on the on that subway and things. You can turn those cutscenes on on the PS5 version. So that means you have to turn on the loading screens if you would like them there. Yeah, which is, it's, uh, which is very funny. It is something. So, uh, Berk, do you want to uh, discuss the fun that is curtain call? Uh, it's a really weird thing that I don't really, it's just like, you have to get these generators and you want to take out as, uh, little enemies as possible. So he's going to try to uh, get them close to him and then just, I think you could, yeah, you go invisible and then you just take out the generator yeah so yeah, the whole one yeah. guy you laid behind but uh, the whole thing is the mission is take out the generators you can't do that when enemies are nearby if you can draw them away then uh that works taking them out also works so yeah we'll do so some the reason, combination yeah so uh stealthing past the second lot with camouflage is way faster because that part of the arena is like pretty large and they don't really attack and those guys don't really attack you too too well uh, these guys all kind of just come at you anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, will you just... I really didn't want to uh, <laughs> yeah. abide by your ruling of please stop. Yeah, no, he did not. But that's just how it goes. And then you uh, go in a big old circle and want to take out these snipers because the snipers are just annoying. Yep. And, and then, uh, these guys are real aggressive. They'll come yeah, to me. So, it won't be a issue. Yep, and then you just wait for them to come to you. Sometimes they'll fly towards where you are by the generator, sometimes they won't. And that should finish it. That should be the last, no, it should be the last one, I think. Yep. Yeah, it was the last one. Right, and and uh, we can... Sorry? And uh, once you've done that, it opens the uh, it opens the gate. Because uh, if Marvel's touch the game went down, there's too much electricity for me. Which is why you have to go and turn off the uh, generators. Yep, you do a little bit of cool movement being able to uh, smash after Yeah, a, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love volley. how you do that multiple times in this game as well. Yep, it's yep. pretty swag. 
pretty swag. So, um, this next bit is a little bit of a puzzle. We electrify a couple things. Webs uh, are conductive, so they can help the electric current. Sure, if the game says so. And, uh... Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we know how to solve puzzles, because we played the game before, so donations, please. Would love to. We are going for a big push here. We are currently at 55,000, almost 56,000 out of that 80,000 needed to get Portal Airboat percent. So I'm going to try to go through as many donations as I can. We have $200 from Anonymous that says, as May Parker would say, when you help someone, you help everyone. Thank you for your donation. $100 from Bobby Blackwolf says, I have to be quick. I'm from the multiverse in my alternate universe. We hit the portal airboat percent incentive and we got to see it. And that run is amazing. So I want all of the multiverse to be able to see it. Don't ask questions, just donate. Oh, and can I have a picture of Spider-Man before I leave? Thanks. So, also, so, sorry. There's also $50 from this good good that just says, with great portal comes great airboat. I was going to make that joke. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they beat you to it. Too slow. You should like know by minutes. now. You gotta be fast around here. So, uh, some uh. neat little, um, stealth tech just going into cloak. So, um, so, uh, they don't see you. And when you're in camouflage, uh, using gadgets doesn't give you away. So, you can do a couple neat things. Uh, just electrifying dudes the second you uh, get a chance. And uh, you see the rest of those guys are very aggressive. So they'll just yeah, come so they to me and uh, get being out. Say hi to big old smashy shield guys. I we hate don't like these guys. guys. <laughs> we do, these we do, guys we... are the worst. And they're especially worse because uh, we would have an easy way to deal with them if the uh, game didn't require that I use a venom punch right away and use up half my venom. That makes yeah. the rest of this much more janky than it has any right to be. What are you doing? That guy was going. Dude. I've that guy never was seen going. that guy go all the way over there. That is, uh, get another one on the bingo card. Because <laughs> that's definitely never happened before. Ah, uh, the thing. We, we said the thing. The thing. And, uh, okay. now we, uh, we chase Finn around. The only, uh, thing of interest is at the start, we know her route so we can cut her off a bit. The rest yeah, of it, we just... But hang on, but hang on, Pess. Oh, are you going to show you the cool strat, though? The strat that automatically makes you fail? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, is it just a reset checkpoint one? No, you need to do it as, 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 as a visual reload. Uh, well, you're pressuring me into it, so, uh... <laughs> it's for the memes. It. It's for the memes. Okay, it's right... I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm yeah. assuming it's once we, uh, fall in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Or the memes. There you go. There you go. And <laughs> <laughs> now just restart a checkpoint. Yeah. yeah it, you uh, it, instantly, now. You it instantly fails you the mission. So uh, there you go. <laughs> that was that to one. buy. That was to buy you a little bit more time to get the portal met. So uh, that is that is dead. actually the best one. Because the reason why that one works so well is because you're in a very high location with a straight line. The problem is, it's completely useless because you're chasing <laughs> Finn instead of doing what you're meant to instead of like doing movement to somewhere. But man, it's so cool. It's, it's so good. pretty cool. So a uh, couple donations while we just uh, avoid these missiles really easily. Yep. <laughs> Sure thing. I have $25 from Patches. It says, five tickets for the airboat, please. I can't wait. $100 from Mike Brandt. Always love watching AGDQ. Here's 20 tickets for the portal bonus hype train. I need pictures of airboats. AE Chills donates $50, saying, I'm glad that Venom Jump is as good as I thought it was. I pretty much only used it during my casual playthrough. Let's get Portal. More AGT AGDQ equals more time to donate equals more money to beat cancer. And we just surpassed 56,000 out of the 80,000 needed to unlock that bonus game. Keep them coming in. There's $10 from Spider Yam that says, got bitten by a radioactive airboat. Now I can do anything an airboat can. Let's kick cancer's butt. <laughs> I don't do know what an airboat can do, though. I want to see I that. don't know. I do want to see. I want pictures of airboat, man. 
I do want to make mention though that this boat could be very hard to get off of sometimes. Yep. This speaking boat boats, is not an airboat. Speaking but, uh, of boats, yeah. the boat right there. It's but really that boat, weird. <laughs> that, boat, <laughs> that boat could be very difficult to get off of sometimes. And if you get off and you lose all your speed, you just fall in the water and you're probably going to fail the mission. So uh, yeah, it's weird. All right, sister so, here, she's going to throw a bunch of bottles at you. You just have to jump over them. They normally yep. hit you even when you do the dodge. So yeah. it, like, it really doesn't matter. It's whatever. So it's all whatever. It just leads to more movie time. That's all. Yeah. That's all we're here for in in the end. So uh, yep. let's get so uh, let's get some more uh, donations read and let's get some more in, guys. Like a dollar, five dollars, anything you have can help you see airboats. I love that advertising for it. Any amount of money will help you see airboats and goes through the Prevent Cancer Foundation, which rules. There's a hundred dollars from L. Just says boat. Go one, two, three, attack. Donates fifty dollars, saying, "Forget Spider-Man. Get me pictures of that cake." Can we just get you on the roof? There is a song uh, I'm going to attempt, just just lightly. Vinny donates two hundred and fifty dollars, says, "Spider-Man, Spider-Man." Stopping cancer with a plan. With his spider powers and his heart of gold. <laughs> he helps us fighting cancer, young and old. Watch out! Here comes Spider-Man. Thank you for your 250. 250 from Anonymous that just says, Thanks to all the staff and runners, let's hit that portal incentive. $25 from Madridler that says, This is why I love GDQ. Not only is it fun, it is fun and educational. I feel like we've learned a lot about Spider-Man. Thanks, May. I'm very happy uh, about yeah. the uh, Spider-Ham universe version of uh, Miles I'm very, Morales. I'm very <laughs> happy. Let's uh, let's get some more yeah, donations in. Let's get some more donations in until the next cutscene plays, and Chat. then we can uh, give Bree a break and learn more about the Spider-Ham universe. Chat, please donate with your best alternate universe Spider-Man idea. Ooh, I would love to read those. Actually, yes. I want that to get sounds great. so bad. All right, let's do it. Uh, Five dollars from non-binary code. Parker, what is a hype train? Never mind. Get me photos of that menace Spider-Man. He's sure to be around, whatever he is, whatever it is. And get me some cake. Headline: Masked menace derails hype train with stolen portal technology. Forget the cake. The cake is a lie. And a hundred dollars from D Brown says. I lost my mother to cancer. She introduced me to Spider-Man, who quickly became my favorite hero. Couldn't think of a better time to donate during a Spidey game. Thank you so much for your donation. We also have $75 from Canon Swift. It says, these pictures of an arachnid humanoid does not aid in the data aggregation of test subjects. Further pursuit of such images will impact subjects unless the portal gun is removed from inventory and replaced with airborne nautical vehicles. Cake will be provided for living and successful subjects. And if you don't know what... That. <laughs> <laughs> Years practicing. Um, <laughs> we are currently... Oh, we are we're going off. We're at fifty-seven thousand. We are very quickly approaching fifty-eight thousand. Again, oh, we go. need eighty thousand for that bonus game. If you don't know what airboat percent is, I think you're just gonna have to see it to believe it. But M Sushi is quite literally going to spawn an airboat to get through the puzzles of Portal. No portals at all. So if you want to see something wacky like that, get your donations in and make sure you hit that incentive at the bottom. And, and get those alternative Spider-Men in. I want to read them. Yeah, well, we need to know now. Yeah. The we need to, We now need to know. Like we'll give. In fact, we'll give you a minute to uh, think of your Spider-Man ideas and get those in. If uh, May has any more alternative Spider-Men, she wants to quiz us about. I don't know if I have that specifically, but I can quiz you, you about Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Will that work? Okay, that'll work. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2018 required the largest animation team in the history of Sony Pictures Animation. How many animators worked on the film in total within five? Oh, gosh. Wow. Wow. Um, 500? That is too many. <laughs> okay. I was going to go around 90. That is not enough. 
Okay. Okay, let's split the difference. Right, uh, I'll go 200. in the middle, like 130. <laughs> that is also day. wrong. A mixtape. She didn't give us a hot or warmer there. I think we're close. 200? <laughs> that is wrong. 150? 150 is also wrong. Chad is correct with at least more than five. <laughs> At minimum, it's more than five. Bare minimum. Yeah. If we say zero, that obviously is the right answer. Are we on, are we on price or is right rules? Can we yeah, bet one dollar? <laughs> price is right rules. I yes. will say if we're on price and right rules, uh, we, I don't believe we currently have... I think we currently have a tie, so. Okay. If you want to do some right. math and you remember what you guessed better than I did. I'll set up holograms to guide you. Okay. Uh, we have a bear. This, this is side stuff the, the game forces right us don't, to do. Don't so. correct me on how Price of Right works. I forgot how Price is Right works. You this can't tie. I, 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 I uh, don't know either. I don't know either. What this about is, uh, this is just side stuff the game forces us to do. Yes. Uh, what about 250? There you go. 250 is too many. Yeah, okay, 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 good. Okay. Good, good okay, enough okay, information. Okay. 120. Uh, 120 is not enough. 175. 175 is too many. One, okay. 165. That is too many. 150. That is within... That is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 150. 140? 140 is right. Let's go. I misread my own answer. What I gave I was so close to doing the bottom of the 160. No. No. That was accidentally super VM of me, but it was actually just me forgetting what the answer was. It is 140 animators. I got hit with wow. the mix up. Uh, yeah, it's 140 very talented people. That's yeah. such a good movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, though. And it, I'm right. real excited for the yeah. sequel. Like, you do you have uh, maybe an easier one we can squeeze in quicker? <laughs> yeah, oh. probably. What I, I have, have some Spider-Men. I was gonna say I have. I wanted to sneak in one of the uh, the oh, yes. alternate oh, universes. Please yeah. Do. Yeah. So Zach donates fifty dollars. Says donating for the evil Spider-Man Kilometer Morales. And you'll hear the whole. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I see what you're doing. Could I also have like Hulk Taker. Or that no, doesn't work. I was trying to do something off Hulk Taker. Doesn't really work. Uh, I see. I see what you're doing. I see. Uh, let's, uh, we'll hear more, more of those in just a little bit. I have a menu to do first. It's oh, yeah, the last menus. menu of the run already. Ooh. Do you believe it? Dude, menus in a Spider-Man game? What is this? <laughs> I know. This, it's almost like there are minor RPG elements in this action-adventure game. Oh, my well, God. <laughs> Spider-Man worked for, Peter Parker at least, worked for a pizza place, and that involves a menu. menu. It does involve a menu. Yeah, no, there is a specific menu that we hear about a lot in Peter game runs. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm just going to unlock a uh, thing that will give us an extra gadget. And I'm going to unlock uh, Ve Venom Dash Launcher, which is an so incredibly good, good it's ability. It's so good. <laughs> it ha does the uh, Venom Dash ability, where we instantly just get pulled towards someone with cloaked in Venom. And if we can it now interrupt that with a jump, and it'll turn the dash into a jump. So it teleports us to the guy, and then creates a Venom jump around it. And you know how much we love Venom jumps. Yeah, yeah. So not You're telling me we can teleport somewhere and then Venom jump them? Like, oh. uh, please? I, I, oh, you gonna get the building glitch? I oh, didn't get it. Sometimes, oh, yeah. when he, sometimes when you go to that building, the uh, church that Jeez. Pez has stood on now, uh, when it turns from a regular building to a cutscene building, it bugs yeah. out a little bit, and when you try to web yeah. onto it, you Weird. get flung off of it. Weird stuff happens, but uh, this is Trinity Church, and um, this monument over here is modeled after the real grave of Alexander Hamilton. That is my trivia for today. I think cutscene <laughs> buildings are normally called called movie theaters. Uh, potentially, potentially, but this is a church, so it's, it, I don't think it yeah. has a. Uh, I like when you go to the cinema where I live in the uh, UK, they play play an advert for their like premium cinema thing, and it's like, and then it's like a, a, a Dolby Atmos sound. Crystal clarity that just goes giant screens. And I don't think they can fit the giant screen inside that church. 
That so. tower is very tall. I don't know. Uh, Maybe if they do it vertically and, and everyone sits on the side. Also, I thought we were already at the cinema. Oh, are we on stream. Well, we are at the cinema, but I don't know if they're at the cinema in game. Rockstar needs to pay. That'd be very, uh, very meta. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're, we're like going down the whole multiverse universe. The whole um, Speaking of multiverse universe, uh, can we hear about some of these multiverse Spider-Man break? Oh yeah, I've got one more for ya. Homemade JPEG donates five dollars and says, "Alternate Spider-Man, Spider-Man that's actually cake." Maybe. Okay. Is that, that's like that okay. trend where they were cutting into all the cakes. But Is it just, cake, but Spider-Man? It's just Spider-Man. Does that mean if, like, Scorpion, like, pokes the Spider-Man, then uh, he just collapses in the mud or something? <laughs> Decoy. I also have $50 from j Hobbs. Says, yo, let's go, Pess. Such a sick game by a top-tier runner. Gotta work on that trivia knowledge, though. Yeah. You got me there, J Hobbs. We and didn't study. Hey, appreciate we it. We didn't study Hobbs. We did not study Hobbs. We Hobbs, should have known better. I was it? I think Hobbs was just on my show, and I'm pretty sure he lost. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, the call okay. Out. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so maybe, uh, maybe, maybe don't don't throw stones at glass houses, Hobbs. Uh, we love you, Hobbs. Like if you guys, if you guys, uh, I mean, shout out to Jay Hobbs. Uh, Jay Hobbs was running the first game, uh, 2018, the DLC for it. Uh, he did, he routed uh, the ultimate difficulty of uh, one of the DLCs called Turf Wars. Like, really routed it to the point he did a GDQ run of it himself. And me watching him do that is what got me interested in learning the Spider-Man run. And. Uh, led to this nonsense so you're welcome or i'm sorry whichever one fits <laughs> yeah this is where you get the better blood sorry yeah 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 like, yeah yeah, yeah so this is where you get Venom Blast. Venom Blast, really cool ability. Big old AoE instantly takes everyone out in the AoE. Great, we'll never use it. Yeah, because it uses the all three bars of your uh, yep. meter. We have three bars of meter now. But it is and what would you rather do? Would you rather use all three at once to take out a group of enemies? Or would you rather use one to Venom Jump and then use another to Venom Jump? The problem and then is... use another to Venom Jump. The problem is it looks so cool because it's mod because the way the electricity flies, it's like a giant web ball around you. And it looks like a giant web. And it looks really cool, but it just, it, it just it's, it uses too many resources for it to be like useful. Yeah, talking about all these Venom abilities, it's going to be really weird when we're fighting Venom using Venom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when we're fighting Venom using Venom. Trust, maybe trust we need no a rename. Not yeah. even yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure the Insomniac devs are uh, smarter than me on how to keep that clear. Through this office, we have to lift is, uh, yeah, sounds concerning to me. <laughs> I have another alternate for you if you'd like. Please do it. All right, non-binary non code donates thirteen dollars. Says alternate Spidey. Miley Fatales. Miley Fatales has one option to save the city and the multiverse. She must come in first in a Frost Fatales speedrun of Spider-Man. Nice. Hey, uh, okay, we would let's we would see love that. Submit it. That'd be sweet. Yeah, yeah, we'd love for we'd love more people to get into these games. Like they're fun, and you you see how relaxed this speed run is. <laughs> like it's a lot of fun, and you get to watch a movie in the middle of it. If you're like me, you can play like Sudoku puzzles in the middle of it. I know some people <laughs> play like Minesweeper and things. Like, I, it's, it's a good time. I've done crosswords during uh, cutscenes and runs before. It rules. I, l I look at Twitter during cutscenes of this game. <laughs> that sounds so like the most toxic way you could spend the time, honestly. Actually, yeah, really, it really actually, is. Actually, right, so uh, this fight here, um, you want to take out a couple of the really far away guys, and then um, you want to try and clear, uh, group them together and clear them out as fast as possible. There's a bunch of guys that come out from the door behind you, from like right to right to the left of where Pess is now. So the reason why Pess wanted to take out the to take out some of those guys at the start is because they it's because they run out the door and then they are basically in the middle where he's running back to so then yeah. it, it basically just makes sense for him to be seen and then basically break stealth in order to do that 
Uh, if you do that room entirely in stealth, the second wave doesn't spawn. So mm -hmm. it, it does soft lock if you do that room in stealth because you need the second wave to spawn for that door to open for him to go to, to uh, yep. go use the computer. Fun times. Uh, yeah. Also, um, one thing to know about Venom Jump we haven't really talked about is it's just very position based. You want to have as many people caught in the jump as possible. But you saw in that fight and a couple other times, I am still willing to do a Venom Jump over a Venom Punch on individual enemies sometimes, because sometimes it is better to get the two or three hits in after the Venom Jump and get more Venom and just be sure I'm actively using my resources than it is to instantly take the dude out. Yeah, because, yeah, because essentially by using the Venom Punch, you would lose the bar and one shot him so you wouldn't get a chance to get any back. So by continuously maintaining using the venom jump to then get more meter back you continuously make sure you always have at least a so tiny bit of beta yeah couple of uh dialogue skips here reset checkpoint when miles has been no it's yep. some of the dialogue then i'll reload again when thin size and uh we'll get a little more dialogue skipped it allows us to start trying to solve the puzzle which uh I think we've proven by now we are professional puzzle solvers. We are when it comes to yeah. puzzle solvers. When it comes to puzzles in this game that I've played a few hundred times before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll so see how we uh, better so, uh, puzzles than at the trivia. Yeah, much better at puzzles than trivia. So if we can sneak in a domination or two while we puzzle solve. I can give you tons of alternates. They are pouring in. Oh, we have yes. Pop Tarts Ninja donating fifty dollars. Says the best alternative universe Spider Man is Spiders Man. Thousands of spiders that believe they are Peter Parker. I'm not, I don't. Okay. Oh no. We yeah, also. I remember that one. We also have uh, $25 from Anonymous that just says alternate J. Jameson becomes Spider Man, and now everyone needs pictures of him. <laughs> That works. Little uh, visual reload, get to speed up the cutscene slightly. Yeah, I also want to point out there, that little engine thing that he did the Venom jump on, it tells you to Venom punch it. If you Venom punch it, you punch it, there's a slow animation, and then then you have to throw it. But if you Venom jump, it activates it, and then you can throw it in the air. And throwing stuff throw, in the air is always faster. Yeah, air throw animation is always faster. For some reason, it's just, this game is just like Kingdom Hearts. Air hits are just faster. I don't, I don't know why. It's just the thing. I have, have a couple more, more of the, uh, uh, alternate spiders. Yeah, a couple that. more of those, please. All right, $25 from Anonymous. Uh, saying, my favorite alternate universe is the one where Peter Parker becomes a famous chiropractor named Spider-Man. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> I kind of like that one, though. I kind of <laughs> like it, good. honestly. And honestly, then, uh, I dig it. I have $128 from PCD says, alternate Spider-Man, Spider-Man, because the cake you see is a lie. Ah, okay, yeah. Speaking okay. of, we are at 62,000 out of 80,000. We still have a big push to go chat. Keep getting those alternates in and keep donating. We're getting to the end game. Gotta keep them coming. Yeah, so close chat. Right, so uh, this room is actually very difficult to do. So yes, this room here, you want to do in the opposite to the last room where it soft locks you if you do it in stealth. This one you want to entirely do in stealth because if you do this one in stealth, you skip one or two waves of enemy spawn spawning and um, and losing you a bunch of time. Uh, okay, that's not supposed to happen. That's oh, not no. supposed to happen. No, you. Yeah, there's not supposed to be two guys there. Uh, no. Okay, yeah, I, can I, think I can the save it. I think the pathing can differ. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have. Uh, to I've never had it differ first. that bad. Okay, yeah, I can you, save this. I can save this. Yeah, you're gonna have to do a little bit of backup here, but by backing away and taking care of another guy, we'll do that, and that should be like one or two people left. No, that should be it. Yeah. Uh, so there might be a couple guys. Okay. Yeah, yep. a couple of guys. Uh, yeah. I thought there were. All right, we're good. And then if you take it, last guy. Yeah. So this one here. It doesn't soft lock when you do it in stealth, unlike the last one, which is really weird. But that one there, if you don't do that one in stealth, to are two really slow waves that spawn. And they actually genuinely lose you like 30 to 40 seconds if they go terribly. Oh yeah, this is the second Rhino fight. Uh, Rhino here is covered in the Roxxon armor, so he's not affected by um, by uh, the Venom punch like he was uh, before. So, um, 
You need to hit him into things and then uh, hit him into the tanks or walls. Not walls, the tanks. And then they knock him down and then you then um, punch him a, bu uh, a yeah. bunch. Speedrun tech that I uh, have sources that say if they, it was intentional. If you're near the tank, you uh, skip an animation where you jump on his back and instead he runs into the tank. Yep. A little bit of a couple second time save there, but three phases. First you run into the tank, then he's going to throw the tanks at us, and it's going to uh, create generators that we need to throw back at him. Second phase is the scariest because uh, these tanks have a... Uh, he likes to do a big old attack where, uh, hi, where um, he does that, where uh, we can't use Venom if yeah. that hits us, which is really the scariest part of us because it loses quite a bit of time it, if we yeah. can't use our Venom abilities. And again, he's going to do the Venom jump on the engine thing rather than what the game tells you to do, which is Venom punch it. Uh, because and, obviously, faster, air throw, faster, of course, faster. Yeah, you'll notice that we can use a finisher. The finisher is just always slower than a combo. Yeah, like, the finisher doesn't exactly do any additional damage because most of the phases in this are normally said to be done in sets of, like, it's like three, two, and then obviously your final one here. Yep, final one, uh, we have the ability to Venom Punch, so yeah. we are going to Venom Punch. That first hit that, pes that like, uh, went what? Oh, I know, buddy. Yeah, he really just didn't Thank want to you. die. So. That first thing where Rhino hit the ground in that third base, if you get hit by that, which Wait, can happen randomly, just, if you're just in the wrong, sure if you're just slightly way. incorrect with like your movement or whatever, you, mm -hmm. you get hit and you get and you can't use your venom for like 15 seconds or however or however long the thing lasts. Then you have to wait, and you basically just sit there and lose time because you can't really do anything to Rhino because he only gets damage if you stun him with the venom punch and then hit him and then venom punch again. So we always want to avoid that. Yep. And we're in the end game now, chat. There are exactly three missions left. Yeah. We are yeah. running out of time, yeah. and we have cake that we need to eat. So please, I get those donations it, in, start no. coordinating another train. Let's get that bonus game met. I've got donations. We have more alternates. I've got... $10 from Rubber Ducky says, I've got another alternate universe Spider-Man for you. A Spider-Man made entirely out of candy, sweeter Parker. Ooh. Ooh. I reckon that would go like, may maybe like, cause if better Peter is like, best Peter is in the S tier, maybe that'd go like A tier. Cause obviously Peter's, the like, regular Peter's in C tier. Then we have worse Peter in like <laughs> F tier. <laughs> I also have $25 from Warlock. Introducing the latest alternate Spider-Man, Meter Parker, Driver Man. <laughs> oh. Okay, I like it, I like it. Driverman. Driverman. Also, Meter with the driver, I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is actually a really funny cutscene, and it just shows you how random the cutscenes are. It's, we cannot skip this one. Yeah, it's going yeah. to transition into a cutscene that we can skip. This will go into a cutscene we cannot skip. <laughs> it's really it, silly. It, it literally <laughs> sandwiches the cutscenes we can and can't. I I don't know. I memorize I memorize the cutscenes we can skip. I timed how much time it takes. That's all I know. Our best guess is that uh, the uh, there's loading going on in the background of these cutscenes. And our best guess is because this game came out on the PS4 as well, the PS4 needed extra time to try to load the city, which we can guess just based on that long bridge cutscene you saw earlier, that really long one, the PS4 still struggles to load the city in time. After the cutscene. After that yeah. cutscene. So that's our best guess, but uh, it's weird. It is strange and weird. And uh, we can get a little more donations in. Please, we are running out of time, chat. Three missions, three. Yes, get those donations in. We're currently at 63,000, almost 64,000 out of 80,000 to meet that portal bonus game incentive. The airboat donated $25 and said, vroom, vroom, let's get that portal run so we can speed run a cure for cancer. If you want to see more of that airboat, you got to donate and make sure you click that incentive. We also have $25 from the Golden Spider-Man. There's always been a huge fan of Spider-Man and super stoked to see Spider-Man 2 this year. If Spider-Man could fight cancer itself, he would. But since he can't, let's do it for him. 
We also have $50 from High Pie that just says the airboats. Hand them over. And two fifty. I'm literally sorry. I'm just gonna say I'm just doing air tricks here because we need finishers for the next fight. But uh, please donations. Awesome. We also have two fifty from JoJo's story. It says portal, 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 portal. Couldn't agree more. Get that portal in. Snackery donates two hundred and fifty dollars, saying gotta get that boat. I love GDQ so much, and I'm so grateful for how much work goes into this truly meaningful cause. And that number is climbing. Chat, we have just surpassed 64,000 out of 80,000 needed for that bonus game incentive. Keep them coming in. And keep it coming. And I think we can give Bree a little bit of a break, May. You have uh... All right. All right, you ready, chat, as well? What is the name of the pizzeria Peter Parker works for in Spider-Man 2, the 2004 game, not the one that hasn't uh, come out yet? Tony's? Tony's is wrong. In the game, okay. No, in the movie. The movie. Oh, in the movie. I God, I Leo's. thought it was Tony's or Aunt Tony's. I wouldn't say, uh, my brain said Leo's, but I know that's not correct. It is not Leo's. <laughs> um... Uh, I, this is one where I feel silly not knowing it. Yeah, because... Yeah, I've seen the movie so the, many times. Say, so is then, the answer pizza time? Yes, is it pizza time? <laughs> is it, it, is the not, meme? it is not pizza time. <laughs> it should be. Yeah, it, it should be. I found Finn's setup. Chat's crushing it's it right now, center. honestly. It's okay, okay. Uh... You're back. You're back. Chat's going, obviously. Uh, I, I, I don't remember. It is a name. It is yeah, someone's I, pizza. Yep, yeah, I think I inadvertently looked at chat, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut here. <laughs> oh no, pets! <laughs> well, we. I love the honesty. I poor, appreciate it. Poor pets. Poor pets. He's in the know now. He knows. <laughs> He knows. I'm going. I'm going to say Pizza Planet as my last contribution. <laughs> <laughs> wrong movie. Wrong movie. <laughs> Honestly, that's a good guess. I like it. Same, same uh, father company. <laughs> Let Krieger and the Tinker um, go back to being Spider Man. When it the starts with a J. Down. And what? Just hide Oh, down here? uh. Oh, that might be given too much. <laughs> well, you know what? We got. <laughs> yeah, Joe's. <laughs> Joe's is right. <laughs> hey. Yep, I saw it's it in not chat. Jay Jonah so, uh, Jameson's pizza, though. Oh, it's not JJ Jonah's pizza. Uh, man, if only it was. So, so, uh, thicker than blood, uh, this mission is just beat up Prowler, and this it, mission is awesome. <laughs> It's basically just a boss fight, and it's a really cool boss fight. It's a really cool boss fight. This is where we have all everything we're going to unlock in the run, and where before it was a game of improv, uh, now we can script this stuff. We're going to stun lock this guy into the next century, assuming yeah. I don't really screw up. So now I'm on the... Now I'm putting pressure on myself for no good up. reason. So uh, we're going to... Phase 1, Venom Punch. Venom Punch, Airlock, hit, 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 hit. Uh, I that was supposed to be enough, buddy. Like, okay then. <laughs> uh, yeah, that really didn't. That was, that was weird. <laughs> that was that's supposed to be enough. But anyway, yeah. anyway, it's a, you know what I said? It was consistent. Uh, it's consistent till it's not. Anyway, the classic line that being pests use in every game we run. Yeah, guys, it's consistent till it isn't. Anyway, phase two, we're going to uh, Venom Dash into a remote mine, which is primarily used for the stun aspect of it. And we're going to uh, remote mine him really quickly, and then air launch, and then just beat him up. That'll go here. And then phase three is going to uh, start spawning some clones. Instead of dealing with the clones, we can reset checkpoint, which will despawn a bunch of the clones, and then give us the ability to do that same combo we just did in phase two. The hard part about phase three is he likes to go up on top of trains and hits can miss and things can get a bit scary if uh, that happens. But just going to reset here. Venom launch before he can get his clones off. 
and start punching the guy. There we go. There we go. I just, right. I'd just like to say I really love that fight in New Game Plus. It's so good it's in New Game Plus. It's the same combo three times, and then if you do it optimally, the cutscene actually like lags a bit. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because yeah, it hasn't finished loading. <laughs> yeah, that fight is awesome. And uh, yeah. two two missions left, guys. Two oh, missions just, left. We're I'd going like to fast. give an update. We are almost at sixty-seven thousand for this bonus game. Chat is feeling the hype. I'm feeling the hype. We've got so many donors coming in, but we need more to get that game. Keep them coming. You yeah. can do it. Keep them coming. If uh, based on how this runs going, you have about 20 minutes. So uh, you want to get those in. I really want to see the airboat, guys. I would also like to see airboat. I want to see portals with no portals. How could they portal with no portals? That's what I'm wondering. How, what's the game? Just nothing? Is that the name now? That's... We all have the same no question. Title. We need to know. Title redacted. That's what the speed run is. Yeah. Whoa. One more bunny hop. Uh, one more... What is the camera doing? That camera there really was not, on, like, was not on your side there. So uh, this is the game's point of no return for the final two missions. So once you go into this mission, it, it chains this mission and the last mission together. So, um, you don't get any in between time. You have to go through one to the other. So, at the start of this mission here, we're gonna go around the side and stealth take down a bunch of guys. Yeah, if this is all very particularly routed to take out some of the more annoying sniper dudes. And now we're using the aggressiveness to our advantage. I want him to see me. Hi, hi guys, catch me. Na 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 na. All right, that's enough. You can. Uh, <laughs> you can go. And. Uh, them being really aggressive is really good because they'll come over that's why the sword guys are annoying and this is our new ability to yep. gain a venom smack a venom dash into a jump which yep. as you can see sometimes doesn't work because of course <laughs> because we can't always have nice things but uh when it works like... you can start to see uh just how powerful the ability to instantly teleport into a venom jump is i mean it even has some area of effect still it is Pretty nutty. Venom so is that so everybody? No, we it's have not. To nerf okay. no. I was to say, that would have been too good if that was Yeah, anybody. that would have been insane. This is still really good. Yeah, this is I think this well is the last right guy. Right. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. So now we come on over here. The game wants me to heal. I'm not doing it, game. We don't need to. I'm not doing it. You're going to heal me for free in a bit. Don't you bother. And, uh, puzzles! You like puzzles, right? You know what else is puzzles? Portal. So, uh, Whoa. please? Donations? Wow. That was a great segue. Nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many! Oh my gosh, I've got Gamma Ray donating $10, saying another $10 to make Portal happen! 13k in 20 minutes, let's go! I also have $10 from Anonymous, saying $5 donation train! $200 from RocoFet saying, let's get that portal game without portals, chat. And 250 from Hayamoto that says, get me that aired spider boatman portal. Real I don't know what's happening. I just want to make it happen. You and me both. We're at 68, almost 69,000. Let's go, chat. You can do it. We are going to meet this incentive. I know we can do it. Keep them coming in. Those laser, those laser things are like the portal turret. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely like the portal tower. Oh yeah, totally. Like guys, this uh, this mission is called like real scientists. It's it a actually sign. Is, it, it, it's yeah, it like really real scientists. It's a sign. You the don't understand. This is the happen. science. This we is the Osborne Science Center. It's a sign chat. We, 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 are, have an, we also have a room. really long section where we're just going to walk around looking at science objects. Yeah, we haven't really given a shout out to the mission names in, in uh, this game, but some of them are actually pretty. A, a lot of them are like references to stuff in game or to or to like movies and other things. Yep, Tinker so, Tailor Spider Spy comes to mind. That's pretty yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Tinker Tailor Spider Spies, um, like, and that they normally they're all pretty like re re representative of different things that are like happening within the game as well. So they're already cleverly chosen, but some of them do sound really weird when you hear them out of context. <laughs> yeah. And you don't know the context. Yeah. But we are we are in a science fair as a flashback. Miles has a science projects and stuff. And um, 
Yeah, there's not much to talk about here, except when I talk to this lady and straight back and forth, it looks really weird. It does. <laughs> it's uh, very fast. It's very It's funny. like, I mean, it's... It... It... I mean, I, why can't we do this in normal movement? This looks pretty fast. This is just... This is just me trying to, like, get past somebody in the hallway. Yeah. Can I just... Invisible walls. If I could just slip past... Uh, okay. But, uh, you know, the science fair is an excellent time for some uh, GLaDOS donations, if you have any. Or just one for Portal. We like Portal. We love Portal. Uh, I don't know if I have any specific GLaDOS ones. I would love them. If you want to donate, feel free. Uh, 200 from Taco Taco that says, let's get that Portal incentive. I agree. Airboat, again, donates $50 and just says, Airboat! Couldn't Airboat. have said it better myself. Is that the new orb is Airboat? Airboat. 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 $50 from Three Wise Llamas says, please don't let the airboats be a lie. And Zero One donates $10 saying, I wish Valve would hurry up and make Airboat 3 already. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Meta. Well done. That was good, Steve. Uh, also, guys, do you know that guy with Doc Ock? Oh, yeah, do you know that guy? I don't know if I've ever seen that guy before. Yeah, I swear, I swear you have a different model. Hmm. Anyway, donations. <laughs> I have more alternates if you like puns. Okay. Please. Okay. Yes. All right. Calamity Nolan donates several in one with $100, saying a couple of alt spider men The preschooler who shoots waxy rainbow webs, Spider Crayon. Oh, I like Spider Crayon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thing from the Adams family after getting bitten by a radioactive arachnid, Spider Hand. Okay. And from okay. the Cars universe, you probably can guess from the Cars universe, right? We, <laughs> we got Spider Van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. My brain was like, how are they going to work oh, Kachow oh, oh. into this? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, that where's was the Kachow awesome. joke coming in? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I, 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 was like, I was like, where's the Kachow? Like, my piece when, you, really when you replace Lightning with Venom and it's like Venom, Venom Mick Spidey, I don't know. My piece of trivia that I know, which is just random trivia, is um, is uh, the guy that plays Baron Zemo in the MCU is the guy that does the German voice of Lightning McQueen. I actually have, I actually have some trivia. So there's going to be a cutscene coming up. Um, you might want to take a look at that picture because for some reason, in the picture, Miles has headphones on. Ooh. He specifically seen with headphones. Love you, Dad. Bye. Never taken, noticed that. Although I use this one as I use this one as a bathroom break a lot, so I this would have not noticed. Yeah, so pay attention here. You'll see the headphones, and you're yeah. welcome. <laughs> I've ruined the cutscene for you. Yeah, pro to any potential runners. Lots of bathroom breaks. Lots and lots of bathroom breaks. As an update. Oh, sorry. Just yeah, as an update, yeah, no. we are so close. We are at 72,000 out of 80,000. We have under 8,000 to go for that incentive. We are so close, chat. Keep them coming. Let's go, chat. We're keep towards the end stretch, chat. I have, I have two fights and a boss fight, basically. Yeah. That's uh, underselling it slightly, but... Uh, you gotta get those in, chat. Alright, is this the picture? You help this is yeah, the picture. Here, here comes the picture. The, uh, the pitch is very funny. Because Bert points point this out to me as well. Okay. I have. Oh, yeah, wait! <laughs> Where did they come from? I did okay. not know this lot. We're done. We're done, guys. We, we know too much now. <laughs> well, I think Burke answered the most important trivia question of the day. What, where do you get the spider cans from? <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Okay, this fight, uh, anyone want to talk about this fight? This fight really, really sucks. Uh, yeah, so the start of this fight starts with a big guy with a shield and a bunch of uh, other small guys. Big guy with shield, always annoying. Uh, so you need to take care of him as fast as possible and then, then you start dealing with the other ones. Once you've dealt with all the small guys here, the window gets shattered and then you have to go onto three separate floors with enemies flying from all directions trying to hit you. Try, well, trying to find you because they hunt you down. Um, 
So what you're trying to do is you're trying to get rid of the gun guys and pray that people kind of run at you. So then, like, that guy just did that with the sword. So you can then take them out as they're, like, coming towards you. And we're also purposely not going to use a tool in our toolkit because we need two finishers to take out a shield guy. And yes. uh, I would really, really like to take out shield guys that way. Yeah, that we would don't be want, very we, helpful. We, we do not want to deal with the shield guys in the way that the game wants us to deal with them because that's just a waste of bed and bar in this instance. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know how the game wants you to deal with them. Yeah, it's really weird. They are, uh, they're kind of just, like, annoying enemies still with. Like, they are just hard. So, uh, but when we do a 30 combo, that's enough for two finishers, which will instantly take out that guy. Yep. And now we have our full repertoire of abilities again, and going to no. do, uh, things get more in than they have for a while in this mission, just because yeah, there are so many enemies that uh this kind of has to there are so many enemies and if we had the uh ability to use finisher without the big guys we'd be able to do a bit more but uh, yeah I need to get to Harlem. um finisher guy uh uh so yeah, something you have to be very careful about coming out of this mission uh if you go too fast into the uh into this next mission from traveling from the science center uh you can cause the game to just slow down and the only yeah. real way to fix it is to uh Restart the checkpoint. Oh, Pet's gonna try bunny hopping. Um, why are we failing? Thank you. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> and then we dropped it okay. instantly. Yeah, this is the uh, folly of bunny hopping sometimes. Yeah. You, that was but, uh, purpose, last it was to one buy of chat the game. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, no. So, I, we're I, buying I, chat as much time as possible. I here. can never get over how fast. The uh, the um, the like meter thing drops when you're bunny hopping. Yeah. <laughs> it just yeah. drops so fast. Yep. Like, if you want to know how fast we're going, just look at the uh, checkpoint, and that'll give you a uh, good sense. It's like it literally goes from like twenty to thirty meters a second from normal swinging to like fifty to sixty. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Right, so this last, so uh, this mission here is a uh, battle for Harlem. So you got like an entire set of enemies here in Harlem uh, of Roxon guys, the red guys, and the underground guys, the purple guys. So you're basically fighting two sides while they're also fighting each other. Yeah, so, we haven't really talked about different type of enemies, but really they all work in the same basic way. The Roxon yeah. guys are slightly less aggressive than the. Uh, the, the underground guys. The uh, underground guys, but uh, for the most part, they work basically the same way. Roxxon guys have uh, some extra gun. <laughs> you sniped that but... guy onto the pole. That was yes. so good. <laughs> I, I'm very impressed by that. Actually, that that, that was pretty good. Yep, and uh, this is a whole lot of our uh, new venom dashing ability. It's uh, yep. it's so good. It opens ben, up being so able many to bend him dash into a jump is just an instant combo starter of like I hit the guy and I get some venom and um yeah everything's just groovy when you do it that way. So uh, works out pretty well. And now for the rooftop, um these guys just can't take fall damage, so hit them off the roof. That works pretty well. Yep. yep. Hitting them off the roof is good. And for you some reason you can use stealth takedowns here sometimes. I yeah, don't you, know why. You do want to be careful about hitting them off the roof. Sometimes they will land on buildings that don't <laughs> knock them out. Yeah, I mean, a, there's very particular ways to knock them off roofs. Also, if you jump immediately, it'll cause them to uh, go in reverse and like fly backwards. So you do have to be aware of what you are doing. Hi, man. Oh, what is your guy, problem? <laughs> that guy just appeared in front of you. That guy, was that guy literally bodied me. I just want to give you a hug. Like, the actual definition of the word body right there. Actually. So, we're just going to flop on a couple of guys here, get yep. rid of these guys. This mission is a weird combination of very, very scripted and also just a lot of improv. So. Yeah, so, like, your meter management here needs to be really good because, um because there's so many different enemies you need to take out and Venom dashing is very useful to get places very quickly. 
but also you need to make sure that you're not like using too much meter because you need it for. Yeah. If you're down here quick discuss. enough, you can stealth take out one of those big dudes. Oh, yeah, you can. As they're walking around, which is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have a couple um, extra remote mines due yeah, to the upgrade good. we got earlier, and uh, still want to hold on to most of them for the boss fight coming up, because just getting them back is a little weird, but it's all that, fine and good. That was a clean battle. That was a really good clean. battle for our own. That was, that very was good. clean. And uh, we have one more long cutscene before our final fight, so uh, donations. Please, last push. We are running out of time. And we are so, so close. We are just a little bit over 4,000 away from reaching that bonus game incentive. Chat, one last push. Let's do it. I have $50 from Panic Bit that says, I want to be in the Airboat Percent universe. Let's go. 200 from Koi Wolf that says, let's see that portal run. As always, big thanks to all the staff and runners and everyone involved in making these events happen. Less than three. $100 from Seekumbu that says, I don't know how many tickets this is worth, but surely it's enough to get the airboat. It might be, keep them coming. And then $50 from Jaren that says, let's hit that portal incentive, airboat hype. Let's see where we are. Oh, we are getting closer. We're at 76,000, a little over 76,000, chat. You're so close. Get them in, guys. Get them in. Yeah. yeah so like, we, this is an extra long cutscene just for you. Yeah, so we 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 have the... Um, so, after this cutscene is is the final boss fight with Finn. Um, but then luckily we have got, got stuff after the boss fight with Finn before timing does end. So we have got... A bit of time. Yeah. We've got, I'd say, like six minutes left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably yeah, about six. Chat, we've set the bar. Six minutes. You can do it. We are at 77,000. A little over that for the 80,000. Keep them coming. I've got Michael donating $25 saying, here's a few more tickets for others that may not be able to donate. Thank you so much for your donation. I also have another alternate for you. Tayman donates five dollars, saying, "Introducing the handy, easy storage cooking device, Spider Pan." <laughs> huh. That sounds like something that should be sold in the spot in the uh, Disney parks yesterday. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so Finn, if this goes well, uh, you'll you'll see. So Ben, I'm going to try to stun lock her with a. Uh, I don't have focus. You I, don't have focus. No. I completely forgot that was a thing. That is fine. We're just going to do it in reverse. We'll do a remote mine into a punch, into a launch, into a punch. That'll do. That should do it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. You cannot skip this bit until she pulls out her sword. Why? Look, I don't, I don't have explanations why. for this game. No I just idea. play it. I just play it. I don't have any explanation for anything. But uh, Remote Mind's pretty good. We're going to... It stuns her, which allows us to do a full combo into a uh, big old Venom hit, which will stun long enough to do another combo if she doesn't get caught on a bunch of stuff, which she, she chose really to, did not which is that. unfortunate. <laughs> but A, we'll just use the Remote Mind. Reset checkpoint, it gets you uh, gadget refills. So we're going to uh, use... Reset checkpoint to get more remote mines to use it and then use some more venom combos. And then this is my favorite. We use a remote mine. She got away. That's fine. She got away from you so hard, dude. So I just <laughs> run all the way around, do a full combo. This way she doesn't fall off the building. And then you can do what two venom punches if she uh Okay. Okay, we're buying time. All good. <laughs> throwing for content let's go throwing for the <laughs> donations throwing for portal throwing for the portal run so just going to punch a little bit one more venom punch will do i really am throwing for the content okay one more time one more time for the portal donations run all the way around do a full combo then run forward two venom punches that'll what in the world she happened really there? isn't letting you do <laughs> it what does she do actually what is this <laughs> Oh, she soft locks. <laughs> oh, soft lock. Huh. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to reset the checkpoint there. That's never happened before. <laughs> hey. Oh, Jesus. 
The game is now buying you guys time, chat. The game so is thank the game. Throwing everyone a bone here. Let's go. It sounds like because you're a spider, she got stuck. Anyway, that's how it's supposed to go. That's how it's meant to go. <laughs> <laughs> Then she throws some stuff at you, uh, just, you can dodge it, but dodging it slows down time and puts you in an animation and stuff, so I don't want to. I want to jump around it. So... Yeah, so you, you need to get thrown back by, um, Finn a few times. We'll know she's got- we'll know she's at, like, 1 HP, 0 HP-ish, if, like, after a couple of these she- she goes by the red pillar. And once she throws the buzzsaws at you when she's by the red pillar, um, the animation isn't a... That's what happens if you leave the yeah, building. <laughs> that, uh, the, the animation isn't a um, web takedown strike thing. It's instead of Venom Dash and then he throws her into the pillar like that. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. You yeah. yeah. went out the arena right at the end. Yep. Three, we have... That's the final boss done. We have three minutes before time. Where are we with the boats? I have wonderful news for everyone because we hit that incentive. We are going to have portal airboat percent here at GDQ. Congrats chat for raising all of that money. And thank you so much for the donations to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. You are amazing. Well done chat. Woo! Well, well done. Well done. Did it, boys and girls. I am excited for the boats. Very excited. Oh. Goodness. So, um, one cutscene that I'm going to hold forward for a few bits. So, for a little bit. So, um, yeah, first of all, uh, thank you for chatting everybody, getting that those donations in. I really wanted to see the votes. Like, thanks, Spree, for uh, doing an amazing job for uh, a lot of legwork. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this. It was fun. Like, yeah. <laughs> Like, thanks to uh, Corvame for coming on, helping with the memes, uh, <laughs> helping thanks give Free a break me. every so often. Thanks to uh, Burke and Rebel for uh, actually knowing how this game works. <laughs> for actually <laughs> understanding a video game. I, I don't know you. how the game works, I hope I you know do. more of Peter game. But <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I know more of this game than... <laughs> yeah. Well, you thanks. both know more than me. Yeah. <laughs> And it's shout outs to uh, the whole Spider Man community, like double specific guys, like Psycho finds a lot of glitch stuff. Like him and um Sam's Goku find so much of the crap that we do. Like <laughs> like so much of like the glitches and things. Yeah, they break this uh, game open were, very hard. Yeah, to be, these runs wouldn't be the same without their help. And uh, and uh, thank you to everyone else who's picked up a Spider Man run, uh, this category especially, uh Spider Mat. It's like guy really Push, helped like helped like start to route this category and really push me to uh, improve it and um, shout outs uh, for uh, the motivation and the work and uh, yeah every everyone who's picked this game up thank you everyone who's picked Peter game up thank you like if you have any interest in this game uh, there's a bunch of stuff in the uh, Spider Man Discord I was on a uh, GQ Hot Fix show with making a tutorial of this category explaining a little more in depth what's going on so you can go check that out if anyone wants to claim the bounty to skip the cutscenes please please I'm begging you <laughs> <laughs> we need it we need we, it we, we need it like I hope I I hope you can see how fun of a speed run this is, in spite of, or maybe because of the downtime. Depends on uh, how you want to look at it. But um, and just thanks so much for GDQ staff for doing incredible work this entire week. It's really a great event. Like I've been lucky enough to be part of this a few times now, and it's just an incredible privilege every time. Time is coming up when his hands turn blue. We also and... have. Way time. So technically, timing is timing ends on the final QTE input being completed. We have auto QTE turned on, so we just <laughs> have to know when the final QTE yep. signal is. Yep. So it so it goes. So it goes. And uh, yeah, thanks so much to GEQ for everything uh, they have done so far this week, and will do the rest of the week. And thanks so much for. Uh, allowing the first ever full game Insomniac Spider-Man run on the GDQ. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully we can uh, do this for Peter sometime. That would be... 
that would be a lot of fun as well. But thank you guys so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Like, enjoy all of the airboats. I'm going to make some food and enjoy the airboats myself. So, like, anything else, uh, Rebel Burke? No, no. I, I think I think this game is this this game is just a light bit of fun. We we all enjoy playing it because we like memeing about cutscenes. But genuinely, we do actually enjoy this game and every and like Peter game as well. And yeah, just join the Discord, come and learn them, and any other Spider-Man games that's in there. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a lot of, if not all of the Spider-Man games are in that Discord. There's a community for each game. So if you want to learn like Toby 2, for instance, you can hop in mm -hmm. there and hang out. And you can also join, pick up Peter or Miles' game now to be on the ground floor for when Spider-Man 2 comes out. Because if it's the same engine, some of this stuff is going to work over there. Yeah, yeah. If we're back in a couple years and we're bunny hopping through Spider-Man 2, uh, you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> we are making a statement now that bunny hopping may be a thing. It is possible it'll be a thing. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I can't skip this even if I wanted to, so spoiler, sorry, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> but thanks so much for, for watching, thanks so much for donating, enjoy Portal, guys, take care. incredible run thank you so much pestilist and thank you so much to everyone who donated for that incentive i am so excited to see airboat percent holy cow Whew. i think i i was yelling a little bit there <laughs> i have three thousand dollars from dk salfo and it says did i make it in time first donation of gdq let's go you did make it in time thank you so much for your generous donation and everyone get your snacks, get your drinks. We will be right back.
Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 Online, powered by Twitch. Thanks for sticking with us. We had so many donations coming in for that run. Thank you so much again. It was awesome to see them all pour in. I have Courtney and Lionel donating $25, saying, First time donation, long time GDQ fans. Best of luck to all the runners, and let's beat cancer. Thank you so much for your donation. I also have a, a spider haiku since we're just getting off of that run. I have $50 from Ragnostart that says, love a spider haiku. A second spider with responsibility. He hates cancer too. It was a wonderful haiku. Thank you so much for your donation. Augustus donates, oh, Augustus P donates $20 saying, the Portal series is my absolute favorite. I can't wait to see how absolutely broken it is in 2023. Let's hit that goal. And we did. Thanks so much for your donation. And now a quick word from our sponsors. Thank you so much to our sponsors. I had just so many alternate Spider-Men coming in. I just want to cover a couple before we move too far away from that run. Exotic Chaotic donated $5 saying, alternate Peter Parker working in New York as a tour guide, also known as Guider Man. Okay, I like that one. That one made me laugh. And then uh, Travis donated $25 for alternate Spider-Man, a sentient glass container is bitten by a radioactive spider to become Leader Parker. I like that one too. I would, I would watch that. I would play that game. Maybe. We also had 25 from Captain Luigi saying, Pika Parker, not a Spider-Man, just a Pikachu dressed as Spider-Man thinking he's Spider-Man. Thank you for your donation. And just a reminder for anybody who is just joining us, wondering what we're yelling about, what is this stream all about? Just want to remind you, we are going fast and raising money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The Prevent Cancer Foundation, founded in 1985, is a U.S.-based nonprofit organization. Their mission is to save lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection by focusing their work through research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. You can find out more information about PCF at preventcancer.org. All right, and now we are ready for an interview with Kung Fu Fruit Cup and Blood Thunder. I hope you're enjoying this awesome, awesome, I was going to say awesome as an adjective, but awesome game, Sun Quick 2023 online. Couldn't do it any better. Hello, I am Kung Fu Fruit Cup back with you once again. And this evening, first of all, so excited that we hit the portal goal. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Well done, chat. Well done. So excited to see Airboat. Um, but also, we are here talking with Blood Thunder, who's getting ready to do his upcoming uh, Bioshock run. Now, how are you doing, Blood Thunder? I am good. Despite this being like my 15th GDQ, I'm still anxious as ever. And it does not go away. Know, 
You know what? And that's something interesting that happens with um, doing speed runs for like an event at maybe this size or this scale. It can just feel nerve wracking. Even before interviews, sometimes I'm like, okay, do I have everything ready? Like, are my questions good? Like, are we going to, I'm sure everything will be fine. How do I do my outro? My outros are, mm, it's okay. Anyway, Mm -hmm. as somebody who's been around, you know, for over eight years, it seems like ATDQ 2014 was your first run. Yes, with Bioshock. With Bioshock. Nine years ago. So we have a bunch of things to branch out here. I want to know, first of all, your experiences with GDQ over the years. Like, how has it kind of felt for you doing kind of run after run, like working with GDQ, like doing runs on stage, online? What's that been like for you? I mean, it's a continuously evolving process of being in person and like getting used to that setup and meeting friends and then going online, being different and having like the hybrid, like SGDQ and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's always like a different game. Like I did Bioshock back in... 2014. Uh, I've had plenty of runs that are different games between now and then, and it's always a different setup, different process. So uh, it's it's a fun time, but definitely a nerve wracking one. Right. What would you say is is the thing that you've noticed that have either been like the most consistent or maybe the most different over your runs during the years? Uh, they're not always as bad as I think they are. In my <laughs> head, I'm just like, this is just an absolute disaster. This is going so poorly. But then you you watch it back years later, and you're like. Oh, I actually did a really, really good job for this. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's always really high expectations that people place on themselves because they're like, I'm in front of all these people and I like got to perform. But you know, it's good to have marathon safe struts and it's, you're just there, like you're providing entertainment. You're showing people what a run, what a run of these games are like and often for the first time. So it's just a great platform to be able to do that. And yeah, like people who are picked to come on stage like are almost always wonderful and do an amazing job. So Congrats to you, especially Thank being you. around Thank for you. so long. Um, <laughs> now, in terms of things being different and changing, I also want to get into Bioshock itself. Uh, this run is wildly different from the last time we've seen it. Can you give us a little bit of info on that? Like, what's changed? Uh, so about a year ago, there was a big trick that was found that uh, all the levels that didn't have big skips before now have a big skip. Okay. And then a couple months ago, about two, two and a half, there's this more strats involving the same thing. It's a, it's a really specific trick involving splicers that I don't want to give away because I think it's just okay. really cool to, to see firsthand. Um, but splicers are not our enemies. They are our friends. I will tease that. Okay. And, and okay. So I guess this will be kind of another bit of, of sort of info, but I don't, you don't have to get too crazy about it. But I do have a Twitter question I want to ask from at Lifelike who says, are there any tricks or plasmids that are no longer part of the speed run that you miss or wish were still useful? Bioshock's a rare case where, because the run has evolved so much over time, like new tricks have cycled in, old tricks have cycled out. And usually when that happens, there's a, there's a period where you really don't like a trick or it becomes like really awful to do or really, really hard. That's never been the case with Bioshock. It just improved with every iteration, which is really nice. But a long time ago, uh, there was a trick to stick a turret and a door and that would make it lose collision when it was supposed to lock. And I really like that just from a mechanical standpoint. I think it was a cool route. Uh, and also Magic Table Flight for anyone that was around in like 2013, 2014. Uh, but since then, everything's been a welcome addition. Yeah, so it just feels like it's gotten smoother and smoother for you then rather than being like, oh, I wish this wasn't so hard or like... Well, it's gotten faster. I don't know about, <laughs> I don't know about smoother. Definitely faster. Well, that's a given. Mm. No, that's great though. I mean, I guess then casually for you, I don't know the last time you tried this casually, but what is your favorite plasmid as a casual player or top two maybe? Um, I mean, casually and speedrun wise, because it just blended together over the years, is telekinesis. Um, right. It, it's really broken, really fun, and it's just like a superpower. I think everyone kind of wishes they had. Just like, I can pick that thing up from far away. I don't have to get out of my chair to get it. This is awesome. Right. Of course, everybody wants that. But yeah. but consider for a moment bees. I think I'm good on bees. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty fun to use casually. Anyway, um, we're going to wrap up with one more question. This is from nerd underscore squared, who says, uh, what cutscene prank do you have cooked up this time around? I don't know why people think I'm going to do another one of those. You know, It might be the most viewed clip on the GDQ channel of all time, but I would never repeat myself. Like, Never. Definitely not. not two times, definitely not a third or a fourth. That not going to see it. It's, it's going to be speed run, pure speed run, and nothing else this evening, right? Right, exactly. Just- right. <laughs> okay, great. 
Well, everybody, please look forward to this Bioshock run coming up soon this evening. Just speed run, pure speed run. And uh, please check out the new skip that was found or like the new tech, basically. It's amazing. Um, you have to see it. It's super, super cool. Plus, next up, we have Portal. Again, so excited for Airboat. Um, I can't wait to watch it. And I hope you all uh, are excited and enjoy it as well. So thanks so much for chatting with me, Blood Thunder. I appreciate Thank it. You. You've been great. And uh, good luck on your run. Thank you, and thank you. everybody, look forward to the rest of the marathon. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Kung Fu Fruit Cut and Blood Thunder. Cannot wait for that Bioshock run. Super, super excited. All right. And I think with that, you donated for it. You got it. It's time for Portal Any Percent with M Sushi.